Yes, how is it? Are you recording? Yeah, we are. <coughs> we are recording, yay. Yay. Lucky man. Ow. The Hadoos. The Hadoos? Oh, yeah. Hadoos? Maybe, for the evil empire. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh. Yeah. And then mix in some clowns with them. They'll just... Oh, you got it. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just... Well, see, I thought... This would be the Hadozi Empire that you're operating in, but then you'd have like the Clown Empire making, and so then you'll be trapped between the Hadozi and the Clowns, just trying to do your thing. <laughs> what? Did you come up with anything? So what? Nothing better than that. We're just going with Hadozi then. Hadozi? I thought so. Is that what you need in our ship? Nothing better than that. What? I don't think I heard you correctly. I thought about making the gift the evil empire, too. I think that make a good evil empire. Because, you know, they're British. Because they're British. All right, so what happened last week? Previously on... Uh, oh, uh, okay. So you stopped it last time. Okay. Why are we called the Kankersaurus? She can't, she doesn't like Dragon's Breath for some reason. And again, no, it's, I like it's, Dragon's a, it's, a, it's a placeholder I until we use Dragon's until Breath. we've decided what we are as a group. Okay, as long as we're which not point, getting... which point, <laughs> <laughs> dragon versus versus the Dragon Rider. <laughs> too close. Right. Again, it's just yeah, yeah. it's just a, it's just a place. placeholder until we decide how we are as a group. What well, we what we work, how we work well. Meanwhile, the chat's called Dragon's Friend. Well, it's called no, it's not Kinkersaurus. 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 It's, it's still called Kinkersaurus. <laughs> and the videos on YouTube are called Dragon's Breath. <laughs> are they? Yeah, only for one video. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But you had yeah. stopped at uh, Nassau, which is a wild space that includes a rather warm gas giant, like a smoldering giant, gas giant, not quite a star. Yeah. And a space station built up around a very small moon. And pretty much nothing else. Very small, wild space. Because it's no moon. Warm. And while you were off just um, doing the I say it. standard uh, eat, drink, and marry. <laughs> I ain't getting. I am not getting married, sir. <laughs> the life of a bachelor is the life for me. The pilot made a deal with the uh, ship in the adjacent berth to have a cannon installed instead of a mangonel. And he got a good deal on the cannon. It got a good deal on the cannon. I'm going to keep calling the pilot it if I can remember. <laughs> it got a good deal on the cannon because currently nobody in Nassau has um, black, power. black power. So you guys talked to a uh, goblin in the bar who sent you to a black power ingredient planet where you had a small run in with some goblin werebats. Werebats, goblin werebats, werebats. Yeah. Naturally, as you. As one does. <laughs> and you made a deal to sell uh, the bartender five kegs of gunpowder. Mm -hmm. Did we do that? Well, uh, we were on the way. We're, we're on, on the, the way, way to. We just got back to the ship to collect the barrels to take to the bartender. Oh, wait, did we see? Did we give them all of our? No, no. We we, we, have, we haven't we haven't even we haven't given nobody nothing. Okay, so, yeah, because we're gonna well, check well, we, your we, planet, we, Gifford. Hall, whatever they want to call it. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now, we're about to sell one fifth of what we have. So no. One fourth. One tenth. One tenth. One tenth. One tenth. One tenth. <laughs> I had five. Right. I had five on the mind. So yeah, yeah. yeah that oh, was and uh, one tenth. I'm finally, finally able to do the math. Uh, a keg creates fourteen hundred bullets or six cannonballs per keg. Six. Which yeah. is keeping fourteen hundred <laughs> shots. Which is why we're yeah. only selling that's four, the difference. Five out of the fifty that we have. have Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, he just said it. Mm. Wait, 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 what was the question? 20 pounds. 20 pound cake. 20 pounds. Okay. Yeah, but that includes the cake. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> it's not teared? What? What the hell? Uh, uh, yeah, how do you get the powder turned into a ball? Uh, the... Oh, God, let's sit there for you. Oh, Ding dong. Okay. Without any added weight, right? Just said, now that's all the things we have into a ball. Still 20 pounds, 20 pounds? 1,400 shots weighs more than 20 pounds. How much do shots weigh? Oh, oh there uh, is. I don't think it had a weight. An actual shot itself is kind of hard to calculate. I don't, 
Because it's, it's like very small. Hard. Like it had three gold for ten shots. Like I don't think ten it had shots a, had a weight. Did it? No. I don't. I didn't bring that book. I don't know. <laughs> I'll put it in the chat. Did you? What? No. Yeah, I'm not from that chat. Put it in the new chat. Can't get short. <laughs> Wait, is that really what's called? Because I didn't. For now. I didn't even get to look at the name. So I mean, she just changed it like five minutes ago. Clown killers, put us in those. Thank you. Two pounds. Ten bullets weighs two pounds. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, 1,400 bullets would weigh 280 pounds. Okay. So, the, the gunpowder is not the significant part of shot weight. Yeah, because you, you got to take into consideration of the actual bullet itself. So yeah, that's working. Uh, and the same thing with loading the cannon. It's three pounds of gunpowder, 12 pounds of iron. 12 pounds of iron. Do we have iron? We, we have iron. Yes. You had everything in the gunpowder, and now you have gunpowder. Oh, we have everything. Okay. So you decide to take your... I didn't know I quit on 19 or 20. Yes, that's the whole point of being a champion. Yeah. Okay, you got that down now. Yeah, that's why I, I kept know. saying every time he's not a champion, or he used to be a champion because I was rolling 19s like mad crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making notations about how, how much shot a uh, kick does. <laughs> The important information, because we always do this. What do we agree on? <laughs> so yeah, I'm putting it here. Yeah, it'll be official. No going back after this. For holding to the weight. So your five takes, and you have that in a bag of holding. Uh, yeah. Yes, because uh, mm -hmm. the bug has a uh, uh, bag of holding because of the art, art and being artificer. The, the bug. The bug. The bug. Yeah. It doesn't have a name. We don't know if he's still going to be an artificer or a double artificer. All right, all right, no. He's going to be a wizard, artificer, artificer. Because that's as inefficient as you can get. <laughs> also, the most complicated. Uh, it is. As you're headed towards the bar, um, you notice you're being tailed again. Remember, uh, you had been tailed on the way back to the ship? Mm. Well, we, you said we lost that. Can we turn around and see who it is? Yeah. Yeah. Intimidate him? Some, some big, tough looking guys. What do they look like? Huh? What do they look like? Um, what race are Big, tough looking They're humans. Guys. Humans. Pff, I laugh at humans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Simba. And, uh, is that part of Lion King? They're pretty easy to spot. Yes. Because they're human? I've only seen the movie once. No, because they're, they're toughs. You've only seen Lion King once? And they look like they're a lot better at intimidating people oh, than they are sneaking up on them. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> okay. I can only remember it once. So, you know, I don't know that the lines are more. Yeah. No, he'll Gosh. reference some movie that I haven't seen and yeah. it's like, top. It's like my god. Then I get yelled at. You say something. <laughs> and line, then you get yelled at. But next line. I've reached the, the point in my life where I can't watch a movie without falling asleep. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Movies make hour? you sleep. Yep. If I'm sitting for an hour, I'll fall asleep. All right. So uh, what are you going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do? You're going to head on I to the... Uh, I'm going to turn around and walk backwards. <laughs> Okay, I'll we're being tailed. Me. Uh, we're, we're being tailed, and you're going for a uh, uh, confrontation. All right, let's go and do it. Here we go. Woo! Uh, oh, the same humans we saw before. Uh, yeah. yeah. Which humans we saw before? Yeah. Well, Where when we were first we're leaving the bar to go back to the ship, we were being tailed by humans. But you so lost. Them. You lost them. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, uh, right. So they, they, they still, yeah, right. use my survival right. skills to make lose them. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what race they let, were. Let me look at the stat <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wait, prick. I think we can say four. Oh, we could kill those guys. Four. For what? Oh, four, four humans. humans. Got it. 
But they have any cool weapons? Cause you know. Uh, no, they do actually. Um, they're all carrying uh, uh, large caliber muskets that look like Ooh. they've been reinforced to also be used as a just um, a baseball bat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a great mall, if you would. No, more like a two-handed club. Is it magical? Is it? No, it's not gonna be magical. Oh my goodness, that's not. Good. Well, we're not that lucky, and it's not anything. Not no, four of them are not gonna have that. I thought it was a great mall. Well, is it? No, a mall's just uh, a mall's just a mall. Oh, sorry, I'm adding great. So yeah, so like a mall. Is it? What's damage type? Would you say budgeting? Yeah. No. <laughs> damage die. Sorry. Dice. Damage. Damage dice. Do we know that information? I don't know. Are you telling me Great Club's not a thing? Uh, I, I don't, don't think. Club. Actually, I think it is. I think Great yeah. Club's still in this one. Oh, I just mixed the two. Great Mall. <laughs> yeah. Because if I yeah, have to make it up, I will. But I, I, I mean, think Great Club's actually. A great well, I say Great Club was a D10 in mm. previous editions. Right here. One D8 bludgeoning. Two handed. Huh. 1d8 bludgeoning and yeah. it's two-handed? Yeah. No. That's a weak club. It is. That's just a war hammer. It's but not a great a club. club is 1d4. Actually, that's a mace. That's just what that is in the mix. I mean, it's not a great club. No, a great, <laughs> club, was a, a great club was a d10. <laughs> sort of a shitty club. <laughs> really? It takes two a club is only a d4? Yeah, yeah, a regular club. Regular club, one-handed. Wow. Wait, they... they Made that weak too. Oh yeah, they nerfed it. Definitely. Yeah. Well, okay. If, okay, if they, if they nerfed it like muskets. that, then yeah. Okay, they did nerf it like They're that. Also, then, okay, I could also see muskets. it. Standard heavy, muskets, heavy, or heavy like caliber, like heavy shotgun kind of thing. It's like a shotgun kind of thing. Okay, so oh, it's like a blunderbuss. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Do you have Dibs. Dibs for that. There's four of them. Dibs. I call one on another one. Dibs on a different one. Dibs on a different. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so okay. that, right. There's no that great club in here. Where are they? That oh, there there is. Is, right? Yeah. Oh, it is. It's simple. It's a simple one. If I turn yeah. on Yeah, clubs were always simple. Yeah. Right. The great club is They're as well. Yeah. Okay. Like so that's why it's They're like right behind you. They're just like They're not like obvious things on the simple way. Yeah. But, I mean, they're trying to be thinking mm. about it. You know, stopping, looking at magazines, that kind of thing. But, <laughs> but they're not particularly good at it, so they're easy they, for you to they spot. They want to turn around and uh, confront. I'm right here with. Oi, pick! <laughs> what are you doing, falling us? <laughs> they just ignore you. Uh, excuse me. Now, just, now they're all suddenly shopping for candy bars. I will too. <laughs> candy bars. Yeah, there was a little candy stand. I like candy. Yeah. <laughs> I do too. I go, I, I go up to the candy and yeah, uh, right up next to one of these one of these pricks. Hey, what the fuck you following us for? Since we don't know you. That's right. You don't know us. Yeah, we don't know you. Exactly. Why well, are you talking to us? We don't know you. You like this candy, right? No, not candy. I was looking for candy, but All right, I cool. I ain't buying no candy. Like we don't know you. Candy. You like licorice? Who's got insight? You like putting the licorice in your mouth? <laughs> I do have insight. I'm pretty sure. Christine, do you have insight? I have insight. Sure I do. I do. Uh, plus two. Plus three. Okay, eight him. Uh -huh. You help me. Thank you. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> uh, th yeah, this this guy was following you, and then now he's just uh, not engaging you at all. He. he Pretending he doesn't have any interest in you. Right. But you, you okay. can tell. Okay. You knew that already. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to roll, so I feel good. <laughs> well, it was one of those to see if he's trying to put us, to put us off, oh, yeah, off no, guard. Yeah. Don't we have some sort of a quote, truth sight thing? Or something hmm. No, not see, for this. You're doing him too. This is what I was talking about with the puzzle thing. Hmm. I say, here's the puzzle, and you're like, which skill do I need? Wait, which spell do I need? <laughs> True set, we don't have it. So hey, you like licorice? You say, I don't know you. Yeah, you like why licorice? You, why are you talking to us, man? Okay. And he says us, right? Which us? Now he's with the other two guys. Before. Are you, you have more of you now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's, only three, there's only three of them? Yeah. We're three four. of them? I thought you said four. I thought four. you said four. Okay, so that's a DM thing. I thought you said I'll four. I'll look at. 
But it's three of them at the candy store. Okay. Okay, now there's five. I know. Are you going to start over the I'm looking for the fourth one now. Okay, yeah. Okay, there was a fourth one, right? There was a fourth one. All right, look up, look up. Okay, so do a perception check. Okay, uh, since I'm the only one who really did. Yeah, yeah. This is on me. Guidance. He's going to guidance himself? Fuck yeah, guidance himself. What is that? Gives me additional four days. Me four. One of the guys jump, jumps back and grabs his gun and goes, Oh, it's a magic! He's making a magic! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, so they're all suddenly on guard because he's starting casting his mouth. Calm down. I people. thought he was outside. He's outside the candy shop. How many candy shop it's, people are in it's a, it's a newsstand style candy shop. You're all just standing in the street. Style. Okay. How far away are you? He's right behind you. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, keeping a lookout, like, <laughs> grant some distance. 12? Oh, yeah. I should hide. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's standing on, directly on the other side of the street, staring right at you guys with his club in his hand. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Surreptitiously. In his own mind. <laughs> his name is Surreptitiously? I, was like, I can see you. I, I can see you. Stare at Well, you know you did Oh, I okay, saw. okay, you saw. I, I saw. Say it. I will walk way over there nonchalantly. Sir, what do you intend to do with that uh, mighty interesting file? <laughs> Says, uh, I'm just watching you guys. What, 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 what you, what you, what you doing with the candy store? Buying candy, sir. <laughs> then go on about your business. As do you, sir. <laughs> God damn it, man. It's all my life. Sorry, I knew. Okay, you said it, but I. Wait, we didn't have candy. <laughs> I spoke ventriloquism. <laughs> That's one of our skills. Two <laughs> ventriloquism. Okay. I'm looking for my purse. So they're all just standing there. Is. Yes. They're standing. What kind of what kind of can you like? But they, they, as but now they all look ready, you know, mm-hmm. because of the whole confrontation thing. Mm. But they're just standing there. Mm. I'm gonna drop my bag. Taking another round. <laughs> So nothing happened in the next round. I'm just saying, let's continue on our way. I mean, taking another round, like go around the block again, like not towards our de- destination. They already know where we came from. I know, but I like, got my deck out. I know where we came from, both places. Oh well, no, they they, but they, they weren't near the ship, out. so they might have just picked you up somewhere along. In fact, they might have just picked you up. Uh, now you think about it, where you lost them. If we can, do if another, we can, let me do another survival roll. See if we can lose him again. Go around uh, the block and try to lose him. Or do we want to use survival to get him into an ambush? That's it. Where, okay. Where are we headed? Uh, to go sell the. Um, oh, we're heading back to the ship. No, no we're, we're heading back to the bar. Back to the bar to sell oh. the, the barrel. Uh, I can't remember. Did you also have survival as one of your skills? Uh, yes. Okay. I should yeah, A, B, really again. put these on my end. So but, I yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, then. Then I will go ahead. Great. We're going to go take a walk around the block. Try and get him in an alley so that we can deal with this. Deal with this uh, inconspicuously. Pay for my liquor. <laughs> okay. Uh, Where should get liquor? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll do guidance right. again on myself and uh, the, uh, uh, Jeff. The gift is aiding me, Jeff. so I will. Seventeen. And the the ideal goal is to uh, lead them to a place of ambush, not just lose them. Yes, we're leading them to ambush. Okay. So or in other words, we're re- we're leading them to slaughter. Yeah. Tootsie roll suckers? They're just the top. Oh, yeah, the top is top. So the hard candy uh, portion of the the, like tootsie tootsie, the the Tootsie roll is like a brown piece of shit. Yeah. They're great. But They're in the middle. Little, just like, yeah, 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 just yeah, like yeah. a Tootsie Pop. Okay. Yeah. But it's a Tootsie it's Roll sucker. It's candy. Without the stick. Yes. It's great. a Tootsie Pop without the stick. That's it's all not it's not licorice. Tootsie Pop. Ah, I forgot about this. Mr. Owl. 
Yes, yeah, stacks. Oh. One, wow. two, three. You're a little bit young for that, but... <laughs> Everybody and knows the Tootsie Pop out. Yeah. Tootsie Pop out. Even he knows the Tootsie Pop out. He just never realized it. No, <laughs> I just... When I think of Tootsie Rolls, I think of the little brown yeah. lock. Yeah. yeah. The little brown lock. I forgot it's that like, they have long, it's it's long. Long. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the pops. And yes, of course. It's round. It's fun. wood. I can't remember what it's else. Big, it's, 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 it's big, it's round, it's wood, it's big, it's long. It's heavy, it's wood. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. What are you playing? <laughs> Where are you at? You gonna come save us? She's on the ship, oh, dude. It's a cephalopod. That's the pilot. I'm a cuttlefish. Are you cuddly? No. <laughs> Not particularly. Would you like to cuddle? <laughs> <laughs> you have many arms. Oh, you can cuddle many at a time. <laughs> really, really good for choking more people at once. Mm, that too. Okay. Ah, yes. So that name is kind of a... <laughs> Suffocation <laughs> pod? What? <laughs> Association pod. Well, I have a <laughs> bunch of messages to read at my nap. After my nap. You get for napping. Mm -hmm. People still just want to get a hold of you. You're like, bro, I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Three hours left on my purple worm. <laughs> so uh, that totally works. You catch yeah. them coming around the corner, and uh, and uh, you hear one of them say, "Remember, boss said, remember, boss said, no fighting until we get to the bar." Yeah. Did we hear that? Yeah, yeah that. that's yeah. where you just, yeah. We were so you guys go ahead and roll for initiative, and the uh, bad guys don't get you. Ooh. Oh. 19. And then it, and then it, and then it. 19. Whoa. <laughs> no, 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 19. 19. Uh, I got a four. Four. Oh. Christina and I watched every top one song by month from 1960 until 1999. I'm sorry, Jeff, what did you get? Oh, wow. uh, Jeff got uh, 14. Most popular song? Of the month. month? Of the month. For every per year. Per month? Yeah. yeah. They didn't wow. play the whole song. Sure, yeah, yeah. You yeah. <laughs> and you go, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Now we know the year, the Beatles. I can name that tune in <laughs> three verses. <laughs> and that was, that was the things we started when we were born. Yeah. What's four? And your no, it's no, that no, tune. Oh, no, excellent year, by the way. I mean, it was Which just one? awesome. What year? What? I've had a pretty good year, too. Yeah, yours, is, yours is okay. Had some throwaways in there. Hey, mine was 84. Was Ray Parker, <laughs> Ghostbusters, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your bucket? What's your name? What's your what? Abel. <laughs> Abel? Yeah. And, Abel? And your... 19. As in Should we get these things? Kane and Abel and Kane, yeah. Okay. Abel. <laughs> yeah. Mine, I don't get an initiative yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're catching them by surprise. Surprise. Woohoo! Surprise. Who's Jeff? Me. Never mind. I always. You gotta say I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff. <laughs> I just think your name. I always just would think it be spelled with a G. I don't know why. Well, it is. That's what everyone thinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It happens. And his full name is spelled with a G. You know, I picture Jeff's is it Jeff more Cajun yeah, accent. It's Cajun. Uh, yeah, like, gifts, are, Cajun. Gifts, gifts are British, and so like yeah. I, right, I just so don't feel confident in my Jeff British accent cheese. to like do it <laughs> all the time. That's the thing. <laughs> Should I talk? But the way. <laughs> Anywho, Auto, but yeah. Uh, so I go Jeff. first, right? Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. Okay. Jeff. 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 All right. Jeff. Jeff. Uh, let's see here. What? I'm gonna One, yeah. two, three, beep, 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 four, five. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna move to there. Uh, I already had both my swords oh, out. Is that gonna be an attack opportunity? Oh, yeah. They're surprised. They're the little, I don't know. If they're surprised, yeah. if they get attacks an opportunity, that's a DM question. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's say no. Because I come out, hey! That's what they're like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, they're like, they practically pissed their pants off. Oh, what? <laughs> that's what I expect, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Well, there you are. Let's see if he, uh, no. Okay. He was not aware enough to make an entire opportunity given the circumstances. All right. Yay. Congratulations. All right. So, uh, well, again, I got two long swords, one each hand. So, first attack. Uh, I'm going to do it on that far guy there. And are we fully rested? I forget. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. 
Because okay. we, we, we did a full rest uh, after coming back from uh, Wearback Planet. But, but you fought the bad ship planet. But you fought Lefty. And it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I didn't take any damage. Okay. I, 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 I didn't do anything. did a smite. Yeah. To, you know, because that's the only way I can hurt Lefty. The goblin bat. The Wearback right. Goblin who took who said who tricked us into going to Bat Ship Planet. Yeah. Anyways, uh his crew used to go there and his crew 14. is still there. Fourteen. Does a fourteen hit the Oh yeah. Not. Okay. What? Alrighty. I said that they turned into eight plus. They started to pass and once we killed them they turned Ten. into goblins. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh triple like damage. Yes. Oh okay. I, I have the <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a oof, uh, but uh, he doesn't go down because they're pretty tough. Okay, then. That's, that's what I was waiting for. It's like, okay, <laughs> if these are commoners, that would kill, not commoners. Okay. Mm. Right. Uh, All right. Then second attack, my bonus bonus action, offhand attack. And the same guy? Uh, yes. That one's going to be 13. That's also a hit. Oh, cool. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, these guys are half naked. Uh, they got some, uh... The top half or the bottom half? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, they're, they're wearing spinners and leather shorts. Oh, okay. What? And that's that's I, what you'd see on. Why aren't they talking like, like this? On like a <laughs> lot of dock workers around here. Did they here. come to my table? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the future. <laughs> <laughs> so in the future, we don't wear clothes. I mean, that's well, they're really not. not. Depending on the you know, four more points of damage. Four more points of damage. Same guy, right? Yep. <laughs> Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> That's basically what that was. All right, I'm done. It's just turn. How much point? How much damage do you do? I did 12 altogether. Oh, I thought you did 14. Oh, 14. Sorry. I'm sorry, 14. Yeah, 14. Ten, yeah, 10 to 4. Yeah. Uh, cool. Then uh, I don't know. I, where too. I don't think it's Charlie so. running into things. Uh, Charlie is messing with whatever's in the plastic. Is that Charlie? It is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's Charlie. Don't worry, they're just minis. Oh, those minis. Yeah. She's probably pulled one out. Anyways, uh, 13 appears to be the uh, baseline AC mm. for these guys. I'm gonna step out, stab Wait, one with my lance. Information? Oh, you're 10 feet away from that guy. You right? Stab him. Stab him. Cool. Uh, surprise. Oh, Can shit. we have advantage? Did no. I have? I didn't think so. No surprise. No, yeah, unless you have something that grants you specific surprise, though. Right, but we, we led them into the ambush, and so I was hoping for the surprise of it. Right, and what a surprise to you. Give Grant advantage. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> surprise round. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, first of all, there's just a thing as a surprise round. <laughs> no, dude, no. Yeah, if you were an assassin, have you were an assassin, that's a different I story. Bug bears get bonus damage. Yeah. Okay, so how do you have anything that says if they're surprised, you get this? Okay, I'm gonna uh, attack recklessly. Okay. There you go. I, I want so to yeah, yeah, take back. Go. That'll probably work. Actually, no, yes, because they're surprised they won't be able to attack you this round. I crit it. All right. <laughs> uh, how does Great Weapon Master work on a crit? Uh, you just re roll one ones and twos. Well, right. But, like, if I roll a one and a two, can I re roll both? Yeah. Yeah, you can re roll all your ones and twos. Well, only once. So, so right, I, I take the new roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm just checking. So if you roll four ones, you can re-roll all four nuts. Cool. That's 21 plus 3, 24. 24 points of damage on the front guy. Yep. Still alive? Yeah. I pull up my bonus action gun and shoot him in the face. Hmm. From 10 feet away. I use my action to attack. I know. I use two hands to attack. I just had a big giant argument, and you're allowed to do this. It just upsets me. <laughs> you use both hands to attack, and also use that hand to shoot. Yeah, well, that was I. I That's I, three hands. <laughs> I ignore. He's loading. He's saved on Beetlebrox. <laughs> no question. This. I'm a gift. I ignore loading. I'm good at guns. <laughs> okay. Right, cool. Not reckless because it's not melee. No, I admit. Are you hitting the front guy? Uh, it? No uh, one. Eight. Oh, eight is miss. Yeah. It's not reckless because it's not melee. Oh, I didn't know that. Can I reckless a shot? I don't know. <laughs> it says no. I, I, think, I, I don't have reckless. It's before. It's it only is, melee. It's specifically melee, but like. We're not changing that. <laughs> Just checking. Right. 
Uh, That's a sweet microphone. <laughs> okay. Never mind. <laughs> I think that makes it Virgil's turn. I'll take two really steps and get some garbage you just hit. It looks like one step though. Yeah, you just need to take one step. Did you want to go around a bit? Is that why you said two steps? Or did you just want to hit right Whoa. Undo oh, do you think, I think he's going to run? Oh, I don't know. I don't think he's going to run. I just him with my war hammer, right? Yeah, that's it. Ooh, I crit him. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Round one, two critical hits. Do I just add these uh, 11? 14? 14 points damage? Mm-hmm. It kills him. Yeah. All right, so 38-ish is what we're looking at here. Oh, can I suck a soul? Mm-hmm. Did I do it? Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> and you do need a 20 in a second soul. Yeah, okay, okay. Create with the 20. Thank you. You didn't second soul. Okay. Wow, that's not good. No, I didn't. I <laughs> All right. Then we roll for the initiative for the bad guys. Oh, yeah. There are five. They are called... Thugs. Bad thugs. Thugs? Don't... What? They're just called thugs. <laughs> Chuck and Steve. <laughs> I can handle that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Dogs. Dogs. It's hard to, like, misspell that. Unless it's like 2G. And it's the Dogs. <laughs> uh, so the other one went down, Abel. Okay. All right, my turn. All right, yes. Yeah, water fill in. All right, so first attack again uh, on the same guy I've already been attacking. Okay. So first attack is gonna miss. What is it? Is it eight? It's a miss. We determined that. Yes. <laughs> eight. All right. Bad. Second attack. Well, actually, bonus attack. Sorry, mm -hmm. this is technically Did bonus. You hey, I cut on the, on the stab. Yeah. So close. Uh, that is a twenty-four. That's it. Wow. So close on the crit out. Well, I yeah. so close. Uh, for eight more points of damage. Eight more points of damage, bringing him to 22. Do I understand what any of this means? What do they have? 38? Uh, 38-ish, because that's what you did in total. Jeff, there's still one directly in front of you. The other one's kind of around the corner. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run up and stab that guy with a lamp. This is an undamaged guy? Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, 16? 16. 16. Okay. Uh, I will pump a smite into this one. Pump a smite. One to pump you up. Want to do a uh, reckless attack again? Uh, yes, I did that recklessly. Um, this one and two of those. Good, 8, 17, plus, uh, 3, 20. 20 points of damage. Okay. Can I sidestep and bonus action shoot uh, his guy? Over here, shoot that guy? Yeah, it's a cover. Um, what did you attack with? Mm. A pistol? Some sort of a long range. Lance oh, and a pistol. Lance. Okay, all right. Oh. He just keeps looking at his pistols out and shooting. I'm gonna have to. He's got like three, I think, actually. I also ignored the loading oh. property, so, like, whatever. Oh, dang, why this Don't you have to use a bonus action? I ignore the loading property. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm a gif. A git? What? <laughs> yeah, that's well, it. Well, he, he is British. <laughs> <laughs> that, too. Uh, cool. What is going to be a Randy Scoo's git? Uh, that one is 14 to hit. 14 hits, right? Yeah, yes. 14 hits. Okay. And you're shooting the one that in the back. Uh, yeah. Okay. Five points. Wait, do I get to add that um, uh, dexterity bonus? Because it's an offhand attack, but it's a gun. Because with when you do an offhand attack with like a second sword, unless you have the dual like. I still think it's a uh, BS rule, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. But. <laughs> well, uh, even, even in 3 uh, 5, I always like. Because you always had to take that feat, so you can add there's like, no, fuck that. You get, if you have two weapon fighting, you get that feat free, because I, I hate that rule. 
Was it like half? Yeah, you used to get half. Half. Yeah, yeah it was half. And you, I get and you two, get, no, screw that. Just, you, if you can fight your two weapons, you get oh. your strength first, period. Don't give a shit. <laughs> right, because like, what is the hand crossbow? Do you still get to add your, like, uh, crossbow expert, we talked about this. Um, bonus action, hand crossbow shot. And you said, use hand crossbow rules mm -hmm. for loading and stuff. And I'm like, ha <laughs> Because that's part of crossbow expert. Right? Yes. But that, that is part of crossbow. Bonus action, yeah. The note about hand crossbows. Attack action, attack with a one hand weapon. You can use the bonus action. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm my own mount. It is. <laughs> the, way, the way I'm looking at it, it's. Uh, with you being uh, basically like a gunslinger, you have those properties. It means you could shoot from the hip and still sh you should still be able to get those bonuses because that's right. what you are. Right, but he just said when you attack with a one-handed uh, weapon, then you bonus action does thing. Lance is two-handed if you're not on a mount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's attacked, and I'm not on a mount. Okay, then just ignore that uh, shot. Could ignore that shot. No. No, we're gonna go with it because um, the whole the whole thing is really, uh, we like delved into the whole. Um, Two weapon, two handed weapon, and casting a cantrip, bonus action, mm. okay. spell, and, and that seems perfectly okay. So I don't think there's any reason why you can't do the two handed and also use a pistol. Okay. Well, with using a two handed right. weapon, you're you're but basically that's what I'm looking for. Right. Okay. Because it's the it's the two weapon fighting thing. It's like I stabbed with this. Yeah. So so you don't. you don't, you don't, and, and because it's basically you're shooting from the hip, so they're not as accurate. Okay. So that you don't get the accuracy. Okay. But accuracy, depending on which <laughs> sure. level of abstraction you're using, is sometimes your hit number and sometimes your damage number. In the case of offhand weapon, okay. they with a dexterity weapon, they reduce your accuracy by reducing your damage, as opposed to reducing your damage by reducing your attack number. Okay. Which makes more sense, but I think just for simplicity, right? Because you should get full damage. But like a minus two to hit, right? Because yeah. you're not as good with your left hand. Right. But for simplicity, comes off the damage. Got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and that is just four. Four. That brings him to thirty-one. He is not looking good. Uh, then I close the distance. Good job. Close the distance. Just to, just step forward to your adjacent Uh Can I be adjacent to both of them mm. without moving? Like, mm. yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, you just go around that way. Cool. Yeah. And, and you're not pull out my you're not, uh, stepping out of uh, engagement range right. no attack opportunity. Yeah, and I pull out a great axe. And you pull out your great axe. All right, that's a free action. Yeah. It, <laughs> swap weapons three times. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I didn't know, because you already used your free action to pull your pistol, because you used a two-handed weapon to attack with. That's a bonus action to fire. But you fire. still have to draw it, is, the, is the, yeah. the free action. I'll use it as a, I'll pistol whip a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you still got your lands in the other hand, though. Alright, yeah. <laughs> right, cool. Okay. Can so I pistol whip a as a club? Can you do that as a bonus action? Uh, I would yeah, say it'd be like a light mace. It would be the equivalent of a light mace. Well, club is a D4. Well, it's a D4. Well, it's, it's the same thing. So but no, it's a different weapon, just like a... Well, it's more no, have to a pistol than a yeah. regular club. A club? Nah. What a chair a is a D4. Yeah. <laughs> a chair is a D4. Okay, I'll take a D4. Cool. <laughs> well, a chair is an improvised weapon, though. So is the butt of... You are not <laughs> John Cena here, sir. <laughs> Hit him with the chair! Well, so it's the butt of a pistol. <laughs> Unless it's a, you know, a pistol Dude. club, they were specific, a pistol Have mate. you seen how a flintlock pistol is designed, though? Are those a thing? Can I have one of those? <laughs> oh, one of those. Oh, what? I'm sorry. Pistol mace. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't already have one of those. <laughs> it wasn't in the things, but that's why I'm asking. 
Yeah. It wasn't in the base rule, so... Okay, we can go shopping later. <laughs> Actually, isn't this more like an artificer thing, or if it already exists? <laughs> no, this is, this is a barbarian thing. How do I... I want a chair. Can I buy a chair? <laughs> can I buy a folding chair? Hold on. Yeah, just wait, hold on. <laughs> Okay, uh, there any thugs. folding chairs on the ship? No. <laughs> Attack me. Exactly. Hey, thugs, it's your turn. I know. <laughs> what? It is. Right, that's just how the captain yeah, feels they about go them. They're buying folding chairs in the first <laughs> 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 I'm going to um, have to start doing the in character and out of character. As a, as a seven upon <laughs> chairs, there were no need for tech chairs. No need for Chairs. Yeah, but they understand chairs, but you know they why have tech chairs? They under chair. understand chairs on a, a they're a cephalopod and they're on a boat full of uh, robots. Yeah, yeah. But they understand like, chairs. Okay. But say robots don't there's, need. There's no need for right. tacky yeah. chairs. Because <laughs> chairs just need to look good. <laughs> hey, we just need a sh we just need a few shades out here on the top deck, you know, getting our moon tan. Yes. Well, the. Uh, Auto, auto, auto goblins bring us our pina coladas, you know? And a pineapple. Pina coladas. And a pineapple. Uh, all right, you and you step problem. in there all aggressively. So uh, they start wailing on you. Yeah, you got an uh, advantage. Oh, on him. Just, just on him. Yeah. <laughs> You're hitting me? Yeah. Okay. You did the advantage? I did. Just. <laughs> what did you get? Sentai. Oh, I, think, I keep forgetting. Uh, what's my target number? Uh, 14, maybe? <laughs> you done? Because <laughs> it's tight. Three. So they each tag twice. Uh, three of them hit, though. Three hit. Okay. Three hit. Wait, wait. So I got hit? Uh -oh. No, they all attack me. Okay. Wait, they three attacks each? No, no, two each. Two each and three of the four. So three of the four hit because they oh, hit. Oh, they're all hands. attacking you? Yeah. Yeah. He was the biggest Big one. stabby, so big though. target. <laughs> I am insulted, sir. Well, I'm going to kill you next. <laughs> uh, so 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, Who's butthole? He's I did butthole. <laughs> you kill that one, I get the other one. Stun him. <laughs> they said, remember, we're supposed to follow them. You remember what the boss said? I want to know who the boss is. Okay, you kill him, I'll tackle the other one. There you go. All right, 20, uh, 25. <laughs> That's a hit. Okay. Uh, minimum damage I'm doing is four. Well, he had one hit point, so that worked out. Okay, 32. <laughs> 32? 32. Yeah. And the other one steps back this way and takes off running. Two, three. Okay. Uh, I use my uh, reaction, which is why I didn't block one of those hits, uh, to do a grapple attack. Grapple! You're pretty strong. I have advantage because I'm a fucking hippo. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking hippo. 16. 21. Yeah, you got it. Yes. Oh, sorry, it's more than that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot athletics. <laughs> Not just that. <laughs> 24. So definitely got him. Like, I think you probably slammed him against the door there. Pinky. <laughs> and then it's Virgil's turn. <laughs> Virgil, if you weren't catching the conversation, they, he yelled out, subdue him. Subdue him? I imagine that's how you would have said it. <laughs> subdue him. <laughs> subdue him. Can I go up no, to him and... No, no. Subdue him. Yeah. Choke the licorice in his mouth? That's your accent. I'm just trying. Can I choke him with my licorice game? Stop with the ventriloquism. What are you going to hit him with? My licorice. A licorice game. <laughs> can, I, can I take my licorice rope and strangle him? He's trying to... Okay. A, a garage wire, but licorice... No. I'll say just, if you use a bunch of them, just squish uh, them together, you have sack. It's an uh, 11. <laughs> what? It's an 11. Okay, you got him. <laughs> you have advantage because it's he's grappled. Really? Yeah, you don't get advantage. Oh, no, no, no. Grapple, grapple. Uh, I don't know what that does. Yeah, yeah, Is no. that subdued him? Yeah, and so you do a D4 plus your strength bonus. Are you using strength? Ooh, yeah. Do I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I forgot oh, what yeah. kind of character. All right, six. Um, okay. 
He, that, he doesn't black out yet just yet, but his red face is red. Guidance isn't a bonus. No. Isn't a bonus spell, is it? No. And that brings almost us no back to evil. All, almost no cantrips are, are bonus actions. So would I be able to use guidance and then a skill? Or am I only going to be able to use a skill? Oh, only a skill. Yeah. No, you can use guidance and a skill. Guidance? Okay. Oh, oh but, but that was my... Do that, like, we've always used guidance as like a out of combat thing. Yeah. I'm going to yell at him. Hey. Guiding on himself and then... Use your bonus action to intimidate him. I assume that's how you're doing. I'm asking, no, I... do you like licorice? I didn't have my answer. And it's also choking. <laughs> <laughs> that's what did you say? Who no, does number two work for? <laughs> no, I am going to use guidance to use perception. Oh. Because there's only three of them. Right. I wonder where the fourth one is. They're just looking for the fourth one. Yes. Okay. It's like, okay. Oh. That's good. Yeah. We can do skills with bonus actions. Cool. I'm down with it. Yeah. Well, uh, almost the time I'll probably not use it as a free action. Oh, okay. I mean, because, like, you're fighting while you're looking around. Okay. Okay, so... Perception, I got plus five. Eighteen. What but, you mean? know, you can't use six of them. <laughs> you one. You can pick one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't see anybody anywhere. Um, so you're just looking around. That brings us back to Jeff, who has got one hand on this guy's... Chest, pressing him up against the wall. Wow. While, yep. While Virgil is choking him with liquor whips. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish choking him out. Help, you're gonna help out with the choking. Can I do an, like an unarmed strike, but non-lethally? But yeah. like, it's like, finish sleeper holding. Okay. Or something? Okay, cool. But an unarmed strike's just, just one, right? I don't know strikes, just one damage. Perhaps you should just right. use non-lethal lance. Press it against his throat. It's more effective. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna That's what I would it do. Too. And be reckless about it. Yeah. <laughs> just in case I crit on it. Yeah, I did not. But it's uh twenty-two. Alright, that's what I think. Right, cool. Uh max damage for fifteen. Okay, you uh you knocked him out. Where's your friend? <laughs> he just goes ragdoll. Fall. He would fall down except you're both holding him. Are we? <laughs> nobody comes to his aid. We're looking. We're looking. No, no, nobody. nobody yes, does. I look around. Where are the like? Okay. She eating one of my swords. Toss you blunderbuss. <laughs> I pick up the other one. Grab him. Let's go in that room over there. Looks like you're kind of in a residential neighborhood. We can't, we. We came out of this one here. Uh, uh, Secondly, we were in both of these. these weren't, weren't. Oh no, that's not. Were the we in it. both? There, there was a door like, right that's here. That's how we were set up. In were the we meeting. actually like, in the oh, door? We were, no. Yeah. Oh okay. Just in the stoop. You're just in the alley. Side street. Does it oh, end okay. back here? Yeah. All right. <laughs> There's no containers they could have jumped into. Containers they could jump into. You don't think I? You mean like a dumpster or something? You like a dumpster, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, hold on. And tie him up. Artificer, open your bag. <laughs> We're gonna put him in the bag. He'll be fine. All right, cool. We'll open up every so often so he has air. You put him in the bag, the guy? Yeah, it's bag holy. We'll, we'll put the guy yeah. in the bag. I was like, do you, do you just put the guns in there or do you just put the guy in the bag? The guy's gonna die. die. <laughs> <laughs> no. die. We keep opening it up every so often. It'll be fine. So lift him out a little bit yeah, and breathe. Put him back. You need to like lift him. Yeah, no. It's, just, it's not. Air doesn't suction in when we open the bag. I suppose you, you just pick him blow up. across the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just he pulls that out. Good. Still left. Per back of the bag. All right, y'all. Bleedy and his windpipe's crashed, and now he doesn't have any air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every so often, this will teach you not to see the ball people. Thank you. Yes, uh, we're we're on high alert for uh, uh, asshole number four. Um, looking around, can we? Can we? Any, it, Are one, you ready to talk? More, no. Back in the bag. Hey, one one more a chance at perception. Sure, you can keep looking around. Okay. Yeah. Oh. uh... 
You've been guiding anything else? Uh, I, I can guidance you guys if you want, because I'm, right, like, I'm keeping make sure this guy stays alive. Okay, you, you gotta hit me with the guidance. Who okay, so, <laughs> assistance guidance and, and I can just I can hey. Go. Uh twenty one. Okay, um yeah, that guy is not around here, the fourth uh, guy. Um He did. <laughs> You you people, people um, look at you, but then you know they give you the oh, mind my own business and they keep walking. <laughs> Pirate town, yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. We'll take another lap around, see if we find uh, asshole number four. You got all the guns? Oh, yes. We pick up. Uh, yes. Yes. I, Are you we, taking the cool shorts? Yeah. With the suspenders? Should I take them? <laughs> Yeah, oh, we'll put the dead body in the... If they're really oh, big, oh. then... No. We'll, we'll put the, the guy we killed, the two guys we killed, in the bag, too. I'm going to take their suspenders, though. All right. So now you got three thugs and five gunpowders in your bag of holding? I think that's at the max capacity now, for right? <laughs> It's a good thing, yeah, but only one of them needs air. <laughs> <laughs> we make sure he stays Wait, near the top. Wait, we all the bodies? Uh, yes, I don't want to... Because there were no dumpsters. Oh yeah. Nor were there or any convenient the airlines. Nightly news of like, oh, this happened in, in the back alley. This is a pirate town, ain't it? Yeah, I, I don't care. I'll dump them out in space. I don't care. <laughs> can we dump bodies out in space? That that actually that, that's too much. You can't you can't. Can't do that. Mm-hmm. What? Excuse me. There's only a 500 pound limit. So as long as these guys weigh 133 pounds or more and being thugs, I I assume they do. Actually, if they're thugs, they probably weigh more than that. Thinking yeah. about it, so right. Oh. You can't fit all the bodies in the bag of holding. Is there a dumpster around? Okay, <laughs> then I'm gonna wrap one around my back, like like our buddy is sleeping. Or he's got, <laughs> he's right. drunk as shit. We're going to uh, weekend of Bernie's. Maybe just tie yep. his hands and well, <laughs> yeah. No, not weekend of Bernie's, but like he, he's riding okay. piggyback because he's I can hammered. Just tie his hands and That's feet together so he's like burns. wearing him like a coat. <laughs> it's it's still a weekend at Bernie situation. Okay. <laughs> I do that, but he's just passed out drunk. Right, that's what you can tell people. Yes. You yes. might as well do that with the one that needs to breathe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, because one no. that needs to breathe is gagged. So you're doing this with a dead guy. Yeah. yeah. All right. We can't fit all of it. Oh, but as soon as like a porta potty, a dumpster, or <laughs> a bale of hay, or whatever. Thumbs up. Anything that sucks stuff in the air. <laughs> I'm going to drop this dead body off. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Can we give an air bubble to the uh, the hostage? Yeah. Uh, Why? Huh? Air, so he doesn't suffocate. Cast, oh! air bubble. Cast air bubble. Yeah. Is he worth the spell slot? <laughs> right now, get yeah. yeah. information. We need yeah. the information. It works inside an extra dimensional plane? Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. Wait, what's the next thing we should play? Oh, you mean the bag yeah, hole? Yeah, yeah, we cast air bubble on the guy yeah, and fine. we put him in the thing. That way we don't have to keep bringing him out. <laughs> yeah. Because that would just. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would add more questions than the uh, car in the tape pot here now. It's like you're reaching into a bag and pulling out a head. That's just creepy. It's we, a prayer town. We they still don't have care. to because there's no space in the, in the bag of holding. Yeah, there is. What? We, we can't fit three bodies plus the five kegs, right? Right. You're carrying one of the bodies. Yeah, you're going to carry a body. We have the other dead body. We just put the air bubble on the other body so you don't have to keep lifting them out. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. That's the part you're saying is going to ask. Yeah. Ask right. Questions. And you're going to roll on. Yeah. He won't ask more questions about me pulling the head out of the bag. What do I not need? <laughs> Two or higher. Oh, okay. That's not a one. one. It's not a one. Okay, you're gay. <clears throat> so, um... All right, and you're looking for a place to try to dump this body. Yeah, we're gonna walk around, uh, take take another lap around. Okay. Uh, looking out for the the fourth asshole. Uh-huh. Uh, find a place to dump the body. Yep. Um. In completely inconspicuous. I, mean, I would have just left him on somebody's stoop. <laughs> if I can it's like in a quiet dump him off of the space station. Mm. Is that a thing? Uh, you you uh, started off at the outer edge of the space station, and you've been going in towards t- towards the right, bottom. But is it like solid land? Is there any like openings to like terra firma? Uh, it's, it's oh, 
understood, but this station was built around an asteroid, so yeah. really... Is there any, like, openings to just dump... Chuck him into the envelope. Onto the, onto the asteroid. Or into space. Oh, into the space giant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, you find a, a observation deck area where people can stare at the space okay. giant. Is there anybody around? It's space giant. Gas giant. Yeah. No, um, no. There's nobody around right now. Nobody's around. Right. All right. Let's no. do this quick. Zero. You just check him out. Come do, do you want him for anything else? We got the living one. We need do the we living one. The dead ones I don't do care we about. We have his... Suspenders. <laughs> Check his pockets. He's got any candy. Have any candy? No, he's not have any candy. Did he have he's any? He's a fucking liar, then. Did he have any candy? <laughs> yeah. He didn't he buy any candy. Actually, so he's got coins. So you guys are on a shopping trip. So Does he's he have got coins? coins? I'm no, going to search for coins. Do they have an extra shot for their blunderbuss? No, yeah. they don't. They don't have any shot for their blunderbuss. They were going to buy some That's powder. why. Okay. That's <laughs> why they wanted it. Wow. Oh my gosh. What a shocker. Quickly, get rid of him. <laughs> yep, dump. Okay. Just check him by the window. He's just kind of. Bye, guys. And this Bye. one, too. <laughs> oh, the other big guy. Okay. We might as well just. We just kept the live guy. For right now. We kept the live guy. Oh, the boss. Well, oh. Not the boss, but. Damn it. Okay. That was an opportunity to sell some of the stuff at a higher price. I bet you anything. Probably. <laughs> we we'll find good. out here in a moment. Let's just wake <laughs> this guy up. After we're done with the first deal. When we finish first deal, then we'll work the second deal. Mm. Or we just finish murderizing. Right. Mm. I'll wait. Mm. I come out happy. No bad reviews. <laughs> that's that's all I care about. No I, bad reviews. I'm not getting any scathing Yelp reviews, please. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So you're going back to the bar. Uh, where's the, uh... So I, 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 I had them over here. Yeah, you did. That's something bad. But, um, yeah, put them on this side so I can reach them. Okay. <laughs> I, I just put it where he told me to I know, last time, I know, man. and I realized that was a mistake. <laughs> I can't reach them. <laughs> okay. Who walks in front? Uh, I guess uh, I can. You know, why would you? I, oh. Whatever. Does it matter? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Combat I guess, starts. Yeah. Yeah. Me first. All right. That's fine. Damn. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You give me a blunderbuss? <laughs> What's the stats on a blunderbuss? I want those. It's, it's just like your rifle. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, you would think it would be a shorter range, though, because it's uh, scattered. What's shot? the range on your short? And what's the range on your blunder on your rifle? Uh, well, rifle and musket are different. Right. Uh, so the musket's forty. Forty. Yeah. That's blunderbuss. Really? Yes. Okay. Because there are a couple um, firearms in there that have like a uh, burst shot. Oh. No, it's not one of those. Not one of those. Yeah. Okay. Just smooth bore, large caliber. Okay. 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 <laughs> so just larger rounds, and it takes. Why do you feel it takes like two or three times the number of uh, powder? No. Just try a little slower. It's like not doing any extra damage or anything, even though it's larger. Okay. Because, you know, that's what I was thinking. All right. So you come uh, you come down this this part of the street here. And as you come around the corner, you see this guy uh, who was leaning against the wall uh, take a step forward. Is that the same guy as before? It's a looks similar similar. looking guy. Yep. Yep. Similar looking, but not the same one. Not the same one. Play cool, play cool, play cool. <laughs> we did nothing wrong. Just, just well, just well. I think you can probably see them all. We know they don't have any gunpowder, so we know that this is a threatening looking rifle, or whatever. And this last one has an owlbear on a chain. Hmm. Cause I've been waiting forever to use a damn owlbear. <laughs> I was just waiting for me. That's great. I love it. Oh, uh, you know, I, I gave that to I, him years ago. Uh, yeah, because uh, I did a spe they did a special through Reaper Miniatures where for every forty bucks you spent, you got a free owlbear. Owl and I had five of them. 
<laughs> so as he steps off the wall, he goes, hey, Fluta. Boss says you got a deal. Deal gonna expire. What? Uh, I'm sorry. He's are you speaking to you, Jeff? English? <laughs> what? What? He's talking to you, Jeff. Flo Flo Is your name Flota? Yeah. No, it's Virgil. Fuck. Forget it. Sorry. <laughs> I'll step forward and say, you talking to me? <laughs> you talking to me? Oh, you talking to me? Says, yeah, you, you, you carrying the powder? You the powder? I step back and say, that's Jeff. What's that? That's Jeff. It's Jeff. That's Jeff. Say yeah, I got your money. You got the five barrel. We didn't make a deal with you. Oh no, boss said you made a deal. Who, who's boss? But you you go to boss's shop. Boss gave you an offer. I need boss to come out here that, and can that, corroborate. That, that and about me. That deal's about to expire. Jeff, yeah. Jeff, tell yeah, me about If you're trying to rob me, you're going to expire. You make a deal. Tell me No, I'm selling it to your boss. <laughs> if it is your boss. <laughs> no, I got the boss's money. I, uh, Ask him how much it is. Ask him how much it is. Deal's going to expire. Ask him how much it is. How much you got? Yeah, two, three seventy-five, five barrel. That's what the boss said. Was that right? What? That was the difference. That was the other merchants. Well, uh, right. I do apologize, right. gentlemen. No, well, that deal sorry. has... Expired. Oh, that was a seventy-five uh, yeah. per. Yeah, okay. seventy-five per. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't make no nah, deal with you. No, you don't want to inspire the deal because Fluffy hungry. And he points at his thumb. Oh, I got real happy for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Fluffy. No, yeah. uh -huh. no, no, it was Ambassador Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy. But that's a, that's what he calls his alwear, evidently. Yeah. I but, must uh, apologize, sir, but uh, that name is not familiar. It's <laughs> not my finger, and first longsword appears in my hand. Okay. You do not. Yeah, no, we didn't make no deal with your boss. <laughs> Damn, I'm copying. I'm copy <laughs> <the name. laughs> yes. We did not make a deal with your boss. He made an offer I did not accept. All right, then he just says, Dean is off. I snap my Dean is finger. off, Lotus. <laughs> uh, so everybody roll an initiative check. Snap my other finger uh, before the initiative happens so my other legs are up one. Uh, no change for me. I'm a happy slacker. You're a slacker? I'm a happy slacker. Did you roll a one? No. Oh, okay. Oh. Are these Which also dogs? Uh, yes, but they are uh, the only one again. Oh, wait, so I put the owl bear on nine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Or you could put Fluffy. Could. <laughs> you could have cuddles. Cuddles. Cuddles hug. Just a second. <laughs> These guys are all carrying those musket slash clubs. Like the other guys. And wearing the same Doc Loader uniform. Who doesn't keep their spell save on? Hey, okay, what's your spell save, Abel? Well, my spell save is on the page oh. with my spells. I always I always write it on the front because I never look at my page of spells. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's spells. where my spells are at. So, uh, well, one one spell save for the Eldritch Knight is 12, and for Cleric, it's 13. You got the whole sheet, good Justin. No, she just took she just took a picture of the front. I was like, are you sure you don't? Yeah, but it's got his intelligence, his wisdom, and his proficiency. Therefore, you should know. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you talk <laughs> sense, sir? <laughs> Me. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so you're moving first. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted. I'm trying to finish my notes. Okay. Oh, uh, my uh, Russian girlfriend says she's worried about me because I have talked to her in a couple days. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, does everybody have a Russian girlfriend? Does everybody have a Russian girlfriend? They do not, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. I know I don't. No. All right. Just move. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, okay. Quick question. Are we doing... Spiritual weapon, the way it's in the book, or are we doing that bullshit? No, no, the way it's in the book. 
Okay, good. What was it? Uh, about spiritual weapon. No, we were talking about that last week. I couldn't remember what we had settled on. When we go, when we go to five point five, then okay. But until then, no. Right. Where's the uh, sword spiritual weapon at? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I guess we just do the axe. Oh, there it is. Found it. Question. I found it. Okay. We haven't gotten a labeler to make all these. All right then. Then I will cast spiritual weapon. So it starts there. Oh. And that was my bonus action. I see like. Did you move me off one? I did. Go to roll 20. Yeah. That's been a long time. All right, our initiative. Mostly because we don't have two fights a day. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Oh, one a day? Yeah. Doesn't win. You need to go back and watch the days. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so I'll go ahead and attack the spiritual weapon first. Maybe not in session, but like one bleeds into another, and then Jesus. oh, second, fine. Like we, but we people, do. But, yeah, I mean, when's the last time we did an initiative check? Just now. I mean, uh, last we, session we actually, do the, we we do them all the time. Last <laughs> session we had one in the in the Guano Cave. Yeah, yeah. When's yeah. the one before that? Okay, we, in the final fight of campaign two, where we were like, fuck it, bye. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that, we, that was, that, we, had we, had, we had slept. That yeah, was a but, new one, that wasn't a but check. the before one, like. No, you would wait into, into the, 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 the yeah. layers of the defense. No. Right, and every time we got to the next um, um, area, we would do an initiative check. No, because they would just take another thing. It was all one big giant battle. I was like, yeah, when it came to uh, when we were down in Southern Earth, it was just wave after wave. It was okay, ongoing, so, so there was no checks for us. Okay, so the before that, when we were moving into a different area and a different area. I don't think you ever did two areas in the same day. Give me a second. I'm, I'm going through. <laughs> so I'm going yeah, through the historical record. <laughs> okay, so I miss with the spiritual weapon because I'm okay, with the bonus action. I rolled a three on the, on the die. Dagger Sam. Okay. Okay. Last one uh, and then me. I'm going to. Oh, I think that's actually wrong. Um, I don't have a second attack. Uh, let me right three, here, please. Unless I should be right back. here. That that'll be against the wall, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, right foot. Our spell save is based off our total. Uh, and of course, not. swords are out, and that is proficiency bonus. Right, it's based on your total level. Great. Right. Once we find out out. the proficiency bonus was wrong, because yeah. we thought we were level three and all three and going just by level three stuff, I didn't know if I changed it or not. So, I did. Okay, it's twelve. <laughs> hey, you're up, Jeff. Jeff, wait. Yeah. Oh, sure. I saw you did. What class are Yeah, cast a spell, attack, that spell, and missed. Oh, yeah. Oh. I moved. Yeah. So what's your curse move on us? Plus one. Okay. <laughs> yep, it's a 12. <laughs> Sorry. You don't need to save from a smite. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to save against smite. Okay. Uh, and the number of spells you need memorized is about zero. <laughs> I have four. <laughs> I can only cast three a day. And there's mites. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five thugs. Um, cool. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba and an owl there. Wow. I come with the sneaky elf guys. I wasn't top. Sneaky elf. Hey, I have a zero to my death. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I wasn't first last night. You're all good. You're all good. Uh, cool. Is is this? Are these? Four assholes behind like a wall, or are they on the? Uh, they're just leaning out? against the wall. They're leaning against. Yeah. Okay, got it. Because the the map is. They're little, leaning against the wall, but not like they're. Right. So they don't look like they're standing there. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is technically a thirty foot wide. Right. With the art of the map. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a fat joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do this. I thought we were cool. I guess uh, we can walk away, right? And see what happens. He he did a thing though. 
Oh, well, you didn't hurt anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna. It was uh, a threatening slash. <laughs> bonus action rage. Uh, rush that front guy. Reckless attack. Uh, him. With a uh, axe. Great axe. Yep. Is that four or five? I don't know. Four. Uh, double crit! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can that count as my other one? No, only if they land on each other. Because you get like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Okay, well, I'm pumping a smite into it, too, because... Yeah, because why wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, those are good. So that's 11, uh, 18, 21, 27, plus 3, 30. Wow. Almost nope. dead? Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. All right. What's my astral spark thing? Is that triggered on a reaction? I have no idea, man. I know. Hold on. I I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm going to use an astral spark. Yes. Add three. And you get three of those a day now? What? How many times do you day? do that? Uh, equal to my proficiency bonus. <laughs> so three. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Kill Great. It. Oh. oh. <laughs> so and you've moved four. Okay. Um, one four. Shit. In the last fight, how many pistol shots did I do? You did two pistol oh. shots. Thank you. Oh, ammo, I think. <laughs> um, great. Uh, and then also... Oh, oh, we didn't bust out the plastic beads for you. You're supposed to be just putting I, beads in a cup. I just I just have it written down here. Yeah, I know, but that's bad. Yeah. Uh, but the beads in a cup would be easier, right? Mm. Cool. And then... Uh, I'll just get in his face for the next one. Just <laughs> step right up. Mm, Let's go. I lean so far. Stay in more. Be more better. More better. <laughs> I just thought it looked cool like that, but okay. <laughs> oh, Lovely body. Three times. Wait, you're talking about my guy or the sword? The sword. sword. Oh. Yeah, you guys say. Yeah, no, great. I love it. But if I have to bite you. Single bite, multi attack. What's multi attack, beak and claws. Okay. And Is the chain long enough? Just, just the guy said he had him on a chain. Is the chain long enough? Okay. Uh, looks like the beak is a hit. Oh boy. The beak of the founder? 26. Okay. Oh, and the claws hit. Of what? 14. Both of them are 14? No. 21, 14. 26, 14. Okay, I'll uh, use the reaction to uh, use my tail, because I'm raging. Okay, add at least one, and I'll miss. I add four. Make them up the claws miss. So trust the beak. Yep. Your AC is only 13? 14. Oh. Meets it, beats it. Right? Okay. You got a beat. Beats it, yeah. 10 points of damage, okay. piercing, so that comes halved to five. Okay, what about the other attack? Oh, you, you stopped it. Use your tail and one of your AC. You rolled a 14, okay. so it goes to 15. Yeah, so you... Okay, wait. I thought you did one bite and two claws. No, one bite, one claw. Okay, one bite, one claw. And, and the claw was barely hit, so you used your tail. Alright. So you only got beat. Okay. It doesn't say beat, it says beat. Yeah. What type of armor are you wearing, man? Nothing. Jeebus! I'm out here in a loin cloth. <laughs> sure. Looks like he has a fancy Just bring your ass close. It's like a fancy coat. Uh, it's a fancy coat. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, did you, that was fluffy butt. Mm -hmm. Virgil. I'm bringing this All to right. Virgil. Well, I'm what back there. To, what happened to humans? I'm back there with my liquor. Oh, you want some of this? You want some of this? Oh, did the folks get surprised again? <laughs> yeah. Wow! <laughs> 
and I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> toll the dead. Toll the dead on. There's no one damaged. No one damaged. Oh, dang, no one? Yeah. I mean, you'll still, you'll still do a D8 if, if they fail their save. Uh, yeah. But do know, do you have fire bolts? No. I took a. a oh, Ray of Frost. Level six character. Shock and Grasp from Ray of Frost. Shock and Grasp is that's a That's a good idea. So, yeah, yeah, that's true. But Ray of Frost is 60 feet, so that'd be bad. Uh, it's still the same damage type, but I think Ray of Frost yeah. actually has an yeah. attack roll. Yeah, Ray of Frost is an attack roll. Okay. But it's still D8? D12? Yeah, D8. Character yeah. level. Character level. 2D6. Okay. 2D8. Sorry. Wait, does it... Oh, shit! Wait, does it... That means my fire bolt is 2D10. Yeah. Nice! I forget the so levels. So I do 2D8? Yeah, you'll do 2D8. 5, 11, 17. For the Ray of Frost? Uh, yeah, but you still have to roll a hit. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay, so we know yeah, the I know, bugs. I know it said character level. So the humans oh, okay. are at like, least nascent. I didn't 13, know because we're doing Gestalt. But we don't know what yeah, the. We're uh, kind of full character level. The, so uh, I'm waving my licorice around saying, You want some of this? You want some of this? Is he I looking at the, the licorice? What? He's not looking at anything. <laughs> Is that what I saw it, Tim? He, he, he was leaning against the wall. And no, the this is the owlbear. Oh, no, no, the no. Owlbear. He's busy eating a uh, hippo. All right, fine. <laughs> I'm in with the... What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, toe the dip. Uh, no, no, Ray of Frost. Frost. Oh, Ray of Ray Frost. Frost. Okay. So she has to roll the hit. Oh, it's a 15. What do I add to that? 20. Spell attack That's definitely a hit. I hit 2d8. Sure. <laughs> Full damage? No, nine points of damage. What do I add to that? Nothing. Nothing. Nine. Can't trip. Nine for the owlbear. And slowed for ten feet. I'm slowed by ten feet. And slowed by ten feet. Can I run up there and stick him with the dagger? No. No, because no, that was an action. I mean, you can run. No. You can bonus action. Stick him with the dagger. You said I could do that. No, only if you use your attack. Right, no matter. You do a spell, then you don't get an offhand attack. You have That's to what use I did. Attack to get an offhand attack. Unless you're one of them things, don't you have something you can do? Warcaster or something? No, Eldritch Knight, I think. It's well, that's at, at seventh level. Oh, you got at a seventh it. level. I got it, a war. It's a. It is a Warcaster type thing. You're but a sorcerer, it's not right? Warcaster. Right. War I'm a fighter. Like casting fighter or sorcerer. No, sorcerer. Sorcerer. Yes. <laughs> what kinetic magic did you take? Uh, seeking spell. And some transmuted spell. Never mind. Oh, you could just transmute into like fire or something? No, I was thinking if you had quicken, you could have done a, another oh, cantrip I, bonus yeah. action. I have an action so search. So what's the initiative of the bugs? Oh, can I action yeah. search oh, and then hit it with another spell? Done, but sure. I could do it with Toll of the Dead. You could, actually, yeah. Action search, hit him with Toll of the Dead. Uh, action surge. Hit it. Action surge, yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. mark off your one action surge. Action surge, hit him with the Toll of the Dead. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, another action, and that can be a spell. Seventeen well, no, on no, dice. Well, no, no, no. Told the dead. Told the dead. He has to make a save. Oh. Yeah, a wisdom save, I think. Oh, yeah, did with, you did you with, feel it? With, he has rolled. Yeah, it's you rolled. With a wisdom on a. Sorry, man. Pretty good, I think. Really? Two. No. Pretty good. I mean, you got two. Damage. No, well, I mean, he rolled the wrong die. Two D twelve. For what? For the dead. When you attack, when you do toll the dead. Oh, this is toll the dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Versus 12, so you got that? Cool. 24? No. 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage. Bring him to 22. Ow. My first Albert. So that was Virgil's turn. Have the thugs. The thugs, they're not here yet. So we're done with the end of the round. The thug's got a four initiative, and it's uh, Abel's turn. All right, then. Uh, so for me, uh, go ahead and move me to there. How much damage? Just move him to the corner. How does he yep. look? Yep. <laughs> like a champion. All right. Yeah. So me, I'm going to go ahead and cast Firebolt on the Owlbear. Firebolt on the Owlbear. Yep, because I've got 2d10 for it, so why not? Oh, and this is my Eldritch Knight, so 17. That's a hit. Okay, so 17-ish on the Owlbear so far. Hmm. It's 16 for it, isn't it? No. 13. Is this an animal? 
Jeebus. You'd think you would have a thicker hide than that. It's feathers. <laughs> Makes him look poofy. He doesn't necessarily... <laughs> Anyways, okay. Alrighty. 2d10. Uh, two armor. Six damage. One armor is uh, leather, right? It's two armor. Yeah. Uh, um, two for leather. Leather is three. Studded. Studded, no? Studded just two? Mm. Padded. Padded, Padded just two? I don't know. Okay. Anyways, uh, so six points of fire damage. Okay. That's our dice. Uh, then my bonus action, uh, spiritual weapon is going to attack the owlbear now. Okay. Oh, and too bad it's not a champion. <laughs> uh, so that's a hit. 24 uh, in total. Studded is 12. Studded is 12. Plus that. Yeah. Six plus. All right, eight points of slashing damage from the spiritual weapon. All right. All right. Uh, then I will go ahead and finish the that rest of him. Uh, he's over half, so he's bloody. Okay. Uh, then I'll use the rest of my move, put me right there in con contact with the owlbear. I will then use my action surge. Okay. And two sword attacks. But oh, no, no, I can only do one. I can only do one, that's right. Yeah. Actually, screw that. Point back to where I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still do the action surge, but I just won't move. Oh, you're going to do another... I'll do a new another firebolt. Another firebolt. Yeah. Uh, that's a hit. Okay. And that's a much better firebolt. 16 that time. 16. Mm-hmm. Poor Fluffy. <laughs> that's what you get for taking a name that is not rightfully yours. <laughs> it is Death's turn. Uh, great. Now I'm gonna feel bad about killing this owlbear, but yeah. look at the bright side. Bad owners. <laughs> well, look at the bright side. You owlbear use, cloak. You could use some dual damage, just not the owlbear. If you want to save, li you could save lives. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to save lives in the last campaign. You didn't let me. So oh, now yeah. I'm on a murder spree. <laughs> 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 Who, whose lives are you trying to save the last campaign? Where a koala? Oh. With hey, the character I built for saving, saving lives. lives. <laughs> Remember this? Well, because the enemies weren't using some dual damage. I know you have. Yeah, but I had there. magic to support my saving lives thing. Well, then you should have talked to him and can kill more of him. <laughs> right. Anyway. I'm going to hit uh, the owlbear. Yeah. Uh, recklessly. Oh, double five is nine. No, eleven. Eleven is not a hit. Nimbus. I'm gonna bonus action. What's up, buddy? Uh, pull up my gun and shoot at him. Yeah, I think I still have a disadvantage for uh, close combat. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> no, no in distance, man. but not close combat. What? Ignore the the long distance, but not close combat. Really? Yeah. Sure. Uh, that's what I wrote down. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, traces back to the gods of Geth. The gif. Proficiency on firearms. Ignore, ignore the loading property for any firearm. In addition, attacking at long range doesn't impose, di in, impose disadvantage. So, shh, like. Close combat. Close, Close combat. combat. Still a disadvantage. I got a one. Wheel shit. Well, I miss shit. Man, it's Fluffy Butt's turn. Fluffy Butt's chilling on the hip. A 17 and a critical hit. I'm sorry, who's uh, that? Who's 17, that I'll use my reaction to try and block it. Ah, oh, I missed. Uh. The beak is 12, so I become 6, right? Okay. And the uh, claws are more. Claws are 
22. So that becomes 11. Ouch. How many hit points do you have again? 66? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm at 27 right now. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling great. Feeling good. Yeah. Feeling great. Feeling good. Mm-hmm. Should I come up? Should you I want to touch up? me? <laughs> what? Should I come up so that he has another target? Do you want to? I'm gonna. That was fluffy, but Virgil, you're up. Uh, What'd you do? I can hit him with Toll of the Dead. He's yeah. got damage on him now, right? Yeah. You're hitting the Owlbear with the Toll of the Dead. Do it again. He rolled. Say, he's got to roll his Oh, oh, right, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, right. I don't do a, I don't have to with, do the uh, wisdom. Wisdom. I know. What's the save number? I'm just, Thirteen. just getting bad for the Owlbear, because Toll of the Dead's going to kill him. <laughs> Thirteen. So we're trying to save his life. <laughs> Are we trying to save his life? <laughs> he dies. I mean, roll your damage. <laughs> yeah, what if I get point double ones? No, it's seven. Seven, so 59. All right, four, 13, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, that jails him. He goes down in a heap. Oh, <laughs> poor fluffy butt. Gives on the pivot. <laughs> poor. Uh, anything poor else from Virgil? Move around. Oh, I mean, I... I can take a couple steps forward. I don't really know what. I don't know what we're planning, but yeah, moving a couple steps forward. Well, we're planning to kill these bastards because I said no to the deal, <laughs> and they didn't like that. Who is but the these guy? guys are just these are uh, no it was ones, some right? merchants. It was one of the first places I went to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was um, somebody your bug friend knew who he said would be interested in buying your. Okay, we're not that great of friends. We can kill them. Okay, I take two steps forward. I have no problem with that. And I take out my licorice, and I ask these guys if they want some of this. Or I say, you guys want to talk? You guys want to talk? Or shall we just keep fighting? All right. Enough talking. Enough talking. Shock Louie. What do they are saying nothing. They're just like... <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we're talking about like 12 seconds worth of uh, time here, so. Brace. You're going to brace that guy? You don't have brace. <laughs> brace. Uh, two attacks to the club. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You know I got a shield. Yeah, what's your armor class? I got a shield, so I obviously I pull everything out. The moment I see him take one step. <laughs> what's your armor class? Uh, he gets you. Sure. Shoot! What did he get me? Oh, were you within 10 feet? 23, yeah. No, he wasn't. He was more than 10 feet away. Yeah. Well, at one point he was 10 feet away. At one point he was 10 feet away? Yeah. Where, where you... I've already used my tail. Never mind. Sorry. You've already used your reaction. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Go ahead. I don't have my pencil. Do you oh. need Is it a hard hit? <laughs> just it just occurred to me. No. I can't see <laughs> Three. Three points of damage. I'm going to count up. So you roll three. Once I hit 50, All right. then I'm dead. And then this one uh, attacks over here, attacks the hippo. And he's got two attacks with advantage because you are uh, reckless. reckless. Only one of those hits with uh, 23. And he does 10 points of damage, so that becomes five. And then these two come in here to attack you. Who's you? And uh, what's your armor class? At the moment, 18. Uh, I got 223s and a 17. 223s? Yeah. Okay, I can't do shield that. Yeah. yeah. So, first guy hits twice the other guy. You don't play, play a barbarian? Uh, four and eight. No. Twelve. I, I forgot to two. play a barbarian. I always forget. I know the rage because it's great, but I forgot you the bonus you act, damage. Yeah. Yeah. You remember before you... Oh, you forget your rage damage. I yeah. just, like, mm. I wrote one without and right underneath it the one with. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Mm. All right. My turn? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Two hand. You got great axe because and you put rage when and great I axe. Your axe. It's like, okay, I usually give him the rage one and I believe yeah, it. So, so, so if I make an error, it's usually that, in my favor, not uh, in his favor. Spiritual weapon. Uh, so bonus action. I'm not, not going to do my bonus action just yet. I am going to... 
Uh, none of these got the same damage yet, have they? Uh, no. Okay, then. I'm going to... No. Okay. <laughs> you missed that guy. I missed it. Okay. I'm going to attempt Very to... Either hit it or... Either kill it or don't hit it. Hold person on this guy right here. You know, hold person on the front guy? Uh, the one closest to, uh... Uh, to, uh, Virgil? Me, Virgil. Virgil. Uh -huh. And, uh, saving throw in. Uh, that will be 13. 13 with him? Yes. Uh, no. He does not mean. Alright right, then. Uh, uh, give him a hold. Yep, yeah, I got Whole person, whole person. Which means I don't have that. Would that just be restrained? Sweet. Mm -hmm. I do not have hold. It's bigger than restrained. It's a terrible thing. Oh, it's petrified. Petrified? I think no. it's petrified, yeah. I don't think it's petrified. We'll find out here hold. Paralyzed? Paralyzed? Maybe it's paralyzed. Well, if it's paralyzed, I got one of those too. I see no snap. What is that? Well, I saw I pie in there, there, but I was like, ah, I can't just sit here with like you, you could. Pie. You could just sit here. What do you need? Food? food? Dean Winchester would be disappointed in you. Dean would most certainly be chowing down on pie while playing D&D. &D. It's the last piece. Eat uh, it. Eat it. There's roast beef in there. Alright. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. You think I'm yeah. going to eat Yeah, two chicken tamales. I hate chicken tamales. <laughs> I hate it. Pork ones are better. Yeah. Uh, and then for bonus action, spiritual weapon is going to move over and going to strike. The uh, paralyzed. Strike the paralyzed guy. And I do Which mean, means I think you get advantage and any hit is a critical. I don't think a 10's gonna hit. No, a 10 does not hit. Uh, Sweet, what is this guy grappled? I rolled double fives. Petrified. It looks I like paralyzed. Five. Yeah, paralyzed. Right? Yes! Yeah, me too. What? Yeah, how do you do that? Guys, half naked dudes in leather shorts. And still, I miss. <laughs> you guys are missing. I'm going to taunt him. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's it for me, because that's all I can do. Hey, Gunther. Hey, hey, Gunther. That's what I'm calling That was um, Abel. Now we're in chip. Okay. Uh, I, uh... Oh, the fucking boy's dead. Fun fight is yeah, dead. Just reckless attack the next guy. Wait, is my turn again? But after me. Yeah. I, yeah, I move quick, dude. I'm planning my stuff how well you guys are doing your shit. There's shares. three of us. That's true. Okay. I have reckless attack. There's only three of you. <laughs> and we know how to play game. Oh, I got one or two. So, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> um, can yeah. you pull out another pistol? Yeah, I'm going to pull out another pistol. Uh, I got a... 13? It's a hit. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my goodness, someone was damaged. <laughs> Right? Oh, that's a nine, right? Yeah, nine. Right. You probably want to wail into this paralyzed guy while you got the chance. Oh, that well, then that would have been an advantage, but whatever. Yes, attack the uh, paralyzed guy as soon as you can. Well, I rolled one disadvantage. You'll have advantage. Mm -hmm. And two, you'll get to see. I got three on the guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. Three damage. Uh, <laughs> where, are you, where are you at? <laughs> Pro pilot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Octave what? Mm -hmm. uh, Virgil, where you at? Pull out my warhammer. Run the warhammer. Uh, I'm this guy in the head. Oh god, are you kidding me? Uh, nine plus fourteen. That's a hit. And, and it's since, a crit. Since he's paralyzed, it counts as a critical hit. Oh wow! So I get to hit him with two, two. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm sad that Alex 13. is here. Thirteen. So you add this. Sixteen plus three, right? Uh, yeah. Talking with him, he's trying 16 to points get of damage. squared away. So sixteen points of damage. He'll get help for work, mm -hmm. but he also has a doctor appointment every Thursday. At yeah, he can't. Uh, uh, so it's doctor go. appointment more than anything. That's uh, yeah. what's and then it's on him. Hey, get Gunther. Hey, get Gunther. He's paralyzed. Yeah, well, you know that's why. the reaction. That's why I'm talking. Um, do I get a saving throw at the end of my turn? At the end of your turn, yes. So attack so with all you guys first. Huh? Oh, it doesn't matter. So he's still going to come? Oh, we're having a shield. Yeah, um, he's going to try it. Everything is okay. So thug number one over there. He will always try to. Uh, he gets a... 
Eighteen. Against uh, the tail whooping boy. Wait. Oh, your tail is part of your barbarian thing. I'm like, you're supposed to have tiny little tails. Which makes you part of your barbarian tail. Stop and attack. Because I have a 10 foot reach. He's Norwegian. He's Norwegian. He's Norwegian. They all got tails. Yeah, got tails. Charlie, you're going to be the one that's 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 no, 17. Alright. <laughs> Another 10 damage. Max damage on the barbarian. Another 10 damage, so that becomes a 5, right? You mm -hmm. can stop hurting the barbarian. That would be really cool. Yeah. Well, there's only one over there hitting the barbarian. The other two are rear attacking. I mean, that's me. the entirety of his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So we got uh, 19 and 20 and uh, 15. 15 is getting good there, right? Okay, 19 and 20, I'm going to shield. Alright. Hi, Charlie. Shield. Oh, so. And then the paralyzed guy. Uh, only gets 12. Stephen Just missed it. Just no. missed it. Mm -hmm. He had 13, right? Yep. He is paralyzed. Do you have Lucky? <laughs> no, I don't have Lucky. Then it's Abel's turn. Okay, then. Uh, go. I will attack. It's all it's Actually, how much damage is on the paralyzed guy right now? Um, 16. Okay, am I able to move over one and still be in base base contact with everybody? No, but you're already in base base contact. Oh, am I? Okay, good. All right, so. so move, you won't be. All right, <laughs> so my first attack uh, will go on the, the petrified guy. All right. Paralyzed? Yeah. Yeah. Paralyzed, yeah, sorry. The other, the other P word that is yeah. almost the same thing. That P guy. Yeah. Who peed on him? <laughs> 15. Which becomes auto crit. Hey. <laughs> Five. Five. Man. Double ones. <laughs> Your critical hit. Wow. Okay. And then bonus action, spiritual weapon. We'll do the same thing. And once again, not a champion. <laughs> Take it. It's a hit. Which becomes a crit. That's better. Twelve. Twelve kills him. Yay! So roll for your uh, adroit weapon. I mean your adroit spell. Suck it soul. Alright. Is that me? Yeah. What are you talking about? It's Jeff's turn. Jeff. Oh, Jeff gets a turn? Yeah. <laughs> Jeff! Jeff's turn. <laughs> that guy. Fucking <laughs> kids. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not in charge of the turns. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, reckless attack with advantage. I got a, a three and a one. You know what? Yeah, just give me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use another pistol? <laughs> wow. Don't bring it on. Uh, 20. Oh. Okay, that's good. 20 with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Are those guys hurt either in front of you? Nope. Damn. Well. None of the guys are taking any damage. The only one that's taking damage is the one directly in front of Jeff right now. Because yeah. Jeff keeps hitting him with his pistol. <laughs> Only his pistol. <laughs> uh, but, but, because he is wounded, you can totally dead that guy. The guy that's in front of Jeff? The one's in front of Jeff. Yeah, that's gonna be. Okay. Totally dead. Totally dead. I don't. I don't know. Charlie. Uh, 11. Alright then. 2d12. I mean, what's your DC? I mean, I'm assuming your DC is higher than 11. DC? Spell Your spell save? Oh, uh, 13. Yeah, okay. Man, I think it's smart, but... Uh, do I do that over 12? Hey, you, you tell him the... You tell do him I the add save. something to this? Nope. nope. 12. 12. So he's over half. Do you want to move? Do I? Do you? 
I don't I don't know what different Actually it might not be a bad idea for you to move. Two steps forward? Guys, apparently I really love it. Where? Two steps forward? I'm actually thinking over here. Oh, okay. Wait, where'd you say? I was in the other room. Cool. Uh, well, two, just now I was going to that scene where yeah. Shibu and Po are like fighting with dumb things like you're free to eat. Bugs. And like, that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what was going through my head, too. I didn't realize you were saying it loud what I was thinking. <laughs> What's your straight arm time? Me? Yeah. 18. Okay, I just got one critical hit. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, okay so that is 13 damage. Doesn't that look good? Damn. Yes. Uh, yeah, that is an owl, because that's... Look how good that I'm is. over half damage now. Yeah, yeah. you're bloody. Mm. Beautiful. Yep. He's bloody. Hey, he's beyond bloody. You're not. <laughs> I'm fine. My dice work. My dice work. <laughs> Alright, my turn again? Yep. Alright then. Uh, my last second level spell, I'm going to uh, hold person on this five. This fool right here. The fool directly in front of you. Yep. And we're right here. Well, fine, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Alright, you still got it right there. She'll sniff it and lick it and then. Alright. Bad guy. <laughs> Alright. Cast I just cast whole person on another one. And she the one in front of me? No. Uh, Damn it. You see no, I got two on me. <laughs> you say you're fine, man. I think she I oh, took you. I took you. I had one image this entire time and I took you. Because I think it's just overgrown the Anywho, okay. Uh, hey, uh, the guy directly in front of you is the one that was missing. You! <laughs> you, sir! Die! And spiritual weapon will fire. And. Do you think he's gonna 14, yeah. yeah. Well, you can only listen to me because his ass uh, is uh, paralyzed. It's paralyzed. I don't know if he's allowed to hear. Well, yeah, he is. <laughs> did he die? He's, he's not dead. He's not unconscious. Yeah, it's, it's it's, if he doesn't like die though. when you hit him, then he didn't listen to you. Well, uh, he just took 16 points of damage. I'm sure he's listening now. Did he listen to him? <laughs> it's a selective hearing. No. Like, I could um, ignore a, a he lot of people. listen to me. Well, had he listened, Sometimes. he wouldn't get, he wouldn't be mm. paralyzed, and he wouldn't be getting no, up to fuck like up. He, looks like he can hear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Most of the time, when people are talking to me, if they don't say my name and make sure that I'm like... Say it. Yeah. Just, <laughs> well, he's intent on trying to kill me, so his focus is on me. So, he's hearing me. Jeff. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See? <laughs> All right. Switch. Switch yeah. Did, did you see? Good deal. Good deal. Did you get one? Wow. Uh, did I help at all? That didn't help. I did. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice. Seventeen. Gives him hell right. Yay! Because rage damage. <laughs> <laughs> and then would you like to use your bonus action to shoot somebody? I'm gonna shoot the fucking paralyzed guy so I can get advantage on my shot. No. I think you get advantage, <laughs> but you don't get the automatic. Okay. That's fine. Unless he rolls it. No. No. Okay. Uh, 17 plus 4, 21, and 9 points of damage. Ouch. Wait, how did you die? Is it a D10? That's what a D10. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. I didn't realize that. Let's do it. Tell me No. This no. one? Wait, one yeah. you, this one you want to run in. Oh, you're right. I do. Yeah. Warhammer time. Yes. I get her, uh, advantage, yeah? <laughs> yes. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Oh, Seventeen on the back. Is it critical hit? Is it critical hit? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, what do I add to that? Did you not get a Four. Three. You don't get to be up here. What's your strength? Oh, three. I get to add three to that? Yeah. Seven points of damage. Oh, man. Uh, that kills him. Oh man, that was a, that's a good thing. Right, right, right yeah. on the number though. Right. Yeah, second thought. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, I'll take, you're watching for nineteens, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here. Take my uh. Paralyzed. Oh, gonna do that anymore? Oh, I used my last signal oh, spell. Yeah, yes. I love you. Do I want to do it again? Yes. Can I know? <laughs> I need some boy. Uh, that brings us to the thug. 
You want some of this? You smell like the outside world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have advantage on you. you damn right you don't have advantage yeah, on me. I ain't reckless attacking you. <laughs> uh, if I miss you outright and I take off running. You're not allowed on the table. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Okay. Come, come, come. Uh, I am going to hit him. We're going to have more of this. There's going to be more running away in this game. I was saying, I can only, I a, I can only attack because I'm gonna I can't buy a blue ring. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Nimbus, your mom's, a, your mom's being. <laughs> I told him to get it going on the table. <laughs> uh, that is a twenty-four to hit, and uh, in my mind, nine I'm making a damage. terrible joke, and I'm just, I'm refraining myself. Oh, Nimbus. And we're back to Abel. Anybody do a grapple attack? Yeah, I'm gonna go hippo him. <laughs> can anybody do that? Okay. Anyone can do that. I'm pretty good at it because I'm I hippo. I can get his leg. And <laughs> 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 like, you know in Monsters vs. Aliens when Bob is on the bottom of the giant <laughs> robot and he's like, I got him, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> Damn it, I don't, have, uh, I don't have Eldritch Blast yet. You got Fireball. <clears throat> well, if I had Eldritch Blast, like, get over here. You need an Eldritch Justification for that. Which well, is as soon as I get to uh, next level, Magic Initiate. Uh, well, Eldritch Justification oh, for that. It should. Oh, it said, oh yeah, Eldritch, it says, Eldritch Initiate. Magic Initiate. No, Magic no. Initiate. No, you need Eldritch Initiate to get the, uh, the invocation. <laughs> no, the, oh, is that a part of the invocation? Yeah, the pulling part. Oh, yeah, it is? The invocation. Yeah, the pulling oh, part is the invocation. That's an add-on. Yeah. Okay, now I get that one then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That Eldritch Justification gives you the both? No. Invocation no, no, no. and the uh, Eldritch Adept gives you the invocation and the. Uh, I spell. think so. You because you do get one of the indicate only one, whereas if you're actual warlock you get two. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you take a level in, in warlock. <laughs> I, I, was <laughs> I was thinking about doing that honestly. Uh, didn't expect him to run away. I expected him to stand and die like a man, but. Cow I think coward, there's a skirt underneath Embrace cowardice, <laughs> okay. Uh, so I will run after him and I will do a double, double slice. Yep. Double slice. All right. Slice number one is going to be a big whipper because that's just mm -hmm. ten. Mm -hmm. Ten is a miss. Yep. And then second slice with the offhand is worse. A grapple. Well, actually, no better, but not still a miss. Twelve. Oh, 12's a hit. Oh, 12's a hit? Yay! Uh, another nine points of damage. Another nine points of damage. Yep, and I've already used my action surge, and that was my bonus action, so uh, spiritual weapon is still there. Yep, and now we're at Jeff. <laughs> I'm gonna go tackle that guy. All right, recklessly. It does not hurt. Recklessly. 14. Um, 20. All right, you got him. And I hold him here. All right. I bonus cool action, point? pull out my gun and shoot him in his asshole. Okay. <laughs> That's not allowed. Don't you? What? Yeah. I do that? That's Don't. not allowed, is it? Yeah. I can do that? Okay, cool. <laughs> Disadvantage, right? Short yeah. range? Disadvantage, short range. Oh, I think you got it. 14. 14 is a hit. All right, cool. You little oh, shit. Oh, oh. I knew you were gonna do it. Six. You guys aren't as Six. easy as I am apparently. You just fling him off the table. Yeah, you can't throw your pussy around like like Sadie. <laughs> hey, we, we, we've already established that. We've already established that. Sorry, I was not cut for me anyways. Um, I'm sorry. He held his tongue the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's only human. Virgil Cerny. <laughs> We're not trying to kill him? Oh, we are. Well, yeah, because I've already got the, uh, the. We've already got. He's the, damaged, right? Yes. Yes. I can totally dead him. Yes. yes. Totally dead him. Go ahead. This one, you can go right ahead. Grappled. He fails. That doesn't. Uh, uh, 2d12? Yes. 2d12. does not. Restrained. Like right. Restrained is the good one. Yeah. 11 points of damage. 
Uh, that takes him out. Wow, all right, good. He dies in your arm. Don't. Take his suspenders. <laughs> Whoa. I forgot. Okay, I was waiting for somebody to do the song, but I guess I gotta do it. Guys in your Yeah, that's how I was trying to get to my man. The bell tolls. Yeah. I was doing Dying in Your Arms tonight. Yeah, okay. You're doing Yeah, which one's the bell tolls? Much better song. Oh, here's a Dan in the hallway with a bunch of dead thugs and a spiritual weapon and a dead owlbear. Is there a gutter to the asteroid below us? No, we can just... <laughs> Would you like to come sit with me? Are you going to be... Okay. Oh, thanks for that. Love. Now that we've uh, uh, give, give, him this, huh? extra, give him an extra kick and then walk into the bar, huh? Kick him hard. Musket. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, who moved me up to these guys? Skit. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I did search the body. Okay. I did. <laughs> I On your way the, over there, I, you decided to search the body. I took the guy's suspenders. Sure, there. Yeah. Uh, they took the guns. Because uh, that first guy was carrying a little pouch, and it has um, uh, seven diamonds, two platinum pieces, and five gold pieces. I found the pouch. Seven diamonds. I dug everything out and keep the pouch. They're worth 50 gold pieces each. Okay. Seven. And uh, you notice that they have a little E in, uh, like, uh, you know, carved into the, you know, carved into the diamond. Carved into the, di the diamond, yeah. Not embossed on the bag? E in. On the front. Of the bag? E bag. Not embossed e on the bag. So E is e an echo and is November? Yeah. yeah. What's that mean? Oh, do I know what it means? Do I have something? I have insight. <laughs> Can I discern this? Is? What it's for? Do you have a like a history or something? I, I have plus three on history. history. I sure do. Uh, I get plus four. You want to aid me? I'll aid you. Okay, guidance. And he also puts guidance in himself. I'm going to touch myself in the corner. Damn it. Oh, cool. It's only four. Uh, that was actually a five. I, I, I gotta be honest. It wasn't 15, it was a five. <laughs> okay, so. You said history, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 13 altogether. Oh. Uh, you know that that stands for Elnor Not Can Tell Me. That damn Elnor. Excuse me? Elnor Not Can Tell Me. Right. What's the last name? I'm sorry? Not Can Tell Me. Yeah, you, you're here the same thing I'm hearing. It looks like name for me. Not Can Tell Me. Elnor. Elnor Not Can Tell Me. E L A N O R. Eleanor. So when I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> you just wanted to hear it. Yeah. When I'm like, knock it to me, knock it to me, knock it to me, knock it to me. Knock it to me, knock it to me, knock it to me. I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell you're thinking. <laughs> it's not I'm thinking Nakatomi Plaza. That's what I'm thinking. Tower? I thought it was Plaza. Oh, it was Plaza. I was thinking Nakatomi Plaza. Yeah. Nakatomi Plaza? I mean, just now it sounded like... Yippee-ki-yay, Bonifante? 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 Yippee-ki-yay, Bonifante?
I'm I can't taking the back. Okay. All right. <laughs> Are you taking the shorts or just the suspenders? All right, I'll take the shorts. You got a leather leather? <laughs> yes. Are they black leather? Mm -hmm. How tight are the shorts? Ooh, Are they brown? Yeah. How tight and they're black. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> um, yeah, also, this, these guys have a lot of like tribal tattoos and stuff. You know, just black ink. Do you know, in pointy things. What kind of shoes are they wearing? They just seem kind of random. There's so, no pattern or anything. So they're, they're Maui's, is what you're saying. Maui's? Maui's? Ma Maori, 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 Maui. Maui. Um, okay. <laughs> is that what they're going for here? No. What kind okay. of shoes are they wearing? What is it? Shoes. What kind of shoes? Oh, yeah, they do have little, little boobies, little, little steel toe boots. <laughs> steel toe. <laughs> little boobies. Oh my. <laughs> those shorts. <laughs> those shorts. Those boots. I don't want to be on their ship. Just saying. Good <laughs> <laughs> people are seeing. We taste it all, but I go on the ship. It's the future, man. It's the future. You think they'd have some futuristic mumbo jumbo? Oh, those suspenders in the next. In the next. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. <laughs> Is there any like uh, historical significance to their tattoos, or no? They're just kind of random, and uh, yeah. Uh, or is there like these guys are dressed like the dock loaders, right? Do they look like circles? so? I mean, when you're out on the docks, you know, with all the other ships, the people loading the ships look like this. But there's no like they didn't carry muskets, yeah. musket clubs. Mm -hmm. But that that these guys are definitely the booty shorts and the suspenders. They have booty shorts and, and suspenders the, and the boots. Yeah, and they you all out are in the docks, ripped. But you want to protect your clothes. Oh, they're all ripped. <laughs> right. I mean, they're all ripped because they lift in boxes all day. Right. right. I mean, are these so like? Just, is, there, just, is there a famous game? The ladies game go down the there and they're like. Those dock workers, though. No, there's that works the docks called the Chippendales. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. It's just, it's it's just, just, just a bow tie and all the pockets. <laughs> <laughs> no cops, no bow tie. Uh, it's just, that's what dock loaders will wear. That's what dock loaders look like. That's proper. Tribal tattoos, mm -hmm. leather shorts, suspenders, teal toe boots. Suspenders, no shirts. Okay, I'm done looking at the the, the finely sculpted dead bodies. I'm going inside to make money. Right. The eye. Right, and the other buyer was just some random fuck on the dock again. Uh, yeah, again, I don't. He didn't even have a name. Right, random fuck. Got it. Yeah, this is a no name song, yeah, bitch. <laughs> random fuck wasn't in the uh, no, these. Buyers. No, these were all dock worker guys. Okay. Whereas the other guy was like, you know, shop owner. Oh, he wasn't. Was he a shop owner? Yes. I forget. He was a shop owner. And he was friends with uh, your wizard artificer buddy. You have a wizard artificer buddy? The bug. He's Alex. Oh, uh, yes, Alex's character. He's a character. Alex the bug. Oh, He's I don't have bug. any of his information. No, it's not here provided. <laughs> this guy, I don't think we have, he has much more information than that, actually. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put the. Uh, All right, I know he's the same kind of wizard he used to be, though. Yeah, the same kind of artificer. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. He's an evil case. So he's evil his first campaign character and makes him with the second campaign character and looks at you. Yeah. All right, we go sell. We kick the guys off to the side of the curb and then we go, go uh, meet meet our guy. Right, and the uh, and the uh, the bartender says, "Oh, I see so you handled the, the the business outside there. Thanks again for not fighting in the bar." Yes, I'm good. We try to be considerate, especially <laughs> when we have a deal. Oh, Wait, sorry, oh, wrong, wrong thing. <laughs> and he goes, uh, I don't know if you noticed, you but um, no, those, are, air those are pretty, pretty, uh, there's, there's a pretty, you know, your, your goods there are, are a little hot, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. well, so, of course, um, that's why you got to keep it in a cool area, otherwise you go boom. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm not sure. Uh, right? Do you want to be? I'm seen not sure. I feel comfortable. Do you want to be seen buying this? Should we do this <laughs> at another time, or uh, do you really need this to uh, uh, satisfy your other customers? Would you? Um, what I was thinking was, what if I kick in an extra seven and a half gold, <laughs> make a one twenty a barrel? Mm -hmm. Math guy. Math guy. <laughs> Make it 120 a barrel, but um, eight. Eight, eight, cool. But you guys, well, it was 112 and a half. But, okay. Oh, you never said 112. You said 112. No, you see, he offered. He upped it by two and a half. <laughs> Would you say our price? Was okay, fine. <laughs> but it'll up, up to 120 a barrel. Um, if if you could just you know hang out until I get them sold. What? 
you know, he, he kind of a security, yeah. security sort of thing. Our prices you, just went up. Yeah, yeah, there's an extra extra seven and a half gold per barrel to screw that. You, you're, 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 gonna, you're gonna pay us forty gold to to be security. Thirty-seven and a half. <laughs> yeah, 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 close enough. You're gonna pay us thirty-seven and a half gold to be security until you sell these. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. Throw uh, the barrel on this wall. Otherwise, you know, I mean, how, I, I don't want to back out of the deal, but um, how, how fast do you think you can sell these? I, I'm thinking within the hour. <laughs> yeah, within the hour. You okay. said you said that beforehand. It, these are gonna go quick. Like and, in, and what, are we supposed to, what are we supposed to do? Oh, just uh, have a seat, and uh, I'll bring out some sandwiches, and uh, you know, just if anything happens, um, you know, protect my interests. <laughs> I'm okay with this deal, but I will also require a glass of bourbon <laughs> and some bourbon. Oh, I you recommend you sell this shit in a half an hour. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And he goes, boy! And there's a guy over there cleaning up tables. He goes, go, go, go tell Eleanor I got the gunpowder. Let's take it and run. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't running. So I'm uh, gonna sit here. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. I'm gonna drink my bourbon, and I want to see who Eleanor is. And he goes, oh. I said a half an hour, and then we're leaving. It's, and and so the the boy drops the the towel, and 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 he starts to walk towards the door, and he goes. Double today's pay if you run. <laughs> Did the boy start running? Oh, wait. Yeah, he's done. Boy. <laughs> so he, he runs out of the door. He goes, gentlemen, have a seat. Much obliged. Do you guys just sit around this nearest table to the to the bar? Uh, my back is not to the do- towards the door, sir. Yeah, I you can, you can put it in that corner booth back the there. the door. <laughs> you can put it oh, in that corner booth. You want to go to the corner booth? There? That's fine by me. My back is not towards the door. <laughs> and no right. window behind us? There's no windows. Okay. Okay. Everybody brings out some sandwiches. They're some kind of meat with uh various. You know those gas station sandwiches where they look really good from the front, but then the back is just two pieces of bread? <laughs> it's one of those basically. Good. <laughs> and the meat is, you know, bologna of something. Thirty <laughs> percent real meat. <laughs> <laughs> well, she. Well, you're not gonna eat anyway. So, I, I finished my it. sandwich. Add bourbons and beers. Yeah. Take bourbons my bourbon. And beers. I then take. Have you settled on a gender, or are you just non-binary? Virgil. I <laughs> take <laughs> a sandwich because Virgil ain't. My pronouns are Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> I take Virgil's sandwich because Virgil ain't eating it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and after just a few minutes, uh, uh, a woman walks in wearing a, a fancy ball gown, and uh, and she's got like eight guards with her, right? And they 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 look like the the guys from outside with the tattoos, but they're wearing you know clothes instead <laughs> of um, He's got the, upgraded. <laughs> instead of the dock worker um, fashion. That's a support. <laughs> <laughs> and so she wa- the, wait did you give the did you give him the no powder? we did not give you him, we did not the, give him powder. the powder we, <laughs> we, we showed we had it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it's here okay yeah okay but you still have the powder yes. she walks in and she says hey what's his name do you remember his name you never gave him a name I'm waiting <laughs> for a name <laughs> his name is going to be uh they just call him chief uh, <laughs> Chief. Everyone just calls him Chief. His real name is probably something like George or Charlie. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but they okay. just call him Chief. Give me a drink, Chief. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's Chief. I understand you. Uh, you got some gunpowder from my, from my, from my, from my men here. Five barrels. And he says, Yeah, yeah, I got the five barrels right over here with my associates. <laughs> So she hands him a little pouch, and then uh, she walks over to you and says, uh, "So you have my gunpowder? Sip of bourbon? That we do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Reaching the bag? Nope, not that. 
Okay. And, uh, don't I don't bring that. I don't bring that. Don't bring that. Okay. Okay. I'll bring it out. The guys run forward, uh, you know, and, and take the barrels. Uh, as you try to handle her, they kind of intercept and take, and they take one each. Yeah. Oh, she brought five. She brought eight guys, but five of them. Take one I thought you each. said eight. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. She doesn't, you know, touch anything. I mean, she did hand him the money, but she didn't. Sure. Yeah. She's not. Uh, she human? Yeah, she's human. Okay. Blonde hair. Blonde hair. Yep. Blue eyes. Yep. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor Nakatomi? Yep. Nakatomi. <laughs> Nakatomi. <laughs> it might tell you, you make a mighty fine orc woman. <laughs> orc woman. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? He has a fascination with orc woman. He likes orc women. Uh, okay. Okay. And yeah. then uh, she says, well, thank you very, thank you, uh, associates, for uh, delivering... Uh, uh, the gunpowder will put it to good use, and uh, her and the and all the guys leave. So the bartender's like, uh, "Hey, thanks, that that worked out easy. Uh, you want your money? <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, he reaches into the bag that uh, Eleanor gave him, and he and he and he pulls out because it's he's six hundred gold. Yeah, yeah, pulls out twelve of those diamonds. And sticks the rest in his pocket. Oh, the 50, the 50 gold each, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Too many more to but okay. <laughs> 12 of those diamonds with the E in etched into them. Mm-hmm. So tell me, uh, Chief. Chief, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming, uh, Miss Nakatomi, uh, carries, her name carries a lot of weight here. Uh, yeah, you know, um, you could call her, I mean, people, she doesn't like to be described as in charge because she says that would carry too much responsibility. But she's in charge, is what you're but saying. But she's in charge. <laughs> I see. The, the brain behind the operation, just not the uh, face of the well, operation. Well, just everything that happens, happens because she allows it. All right, you know, but that also includes um, how many how many lotus were there out there in the in the street? There were only five. Five, right, right. It includes things like five dead lotus out in the street. I can tell them about the other three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Come on. However, we did leave them out there along with the owl there. So, surely she saw them, and she saw the condition of me, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. I know what I'm Yeah. <laughs> Virgil's fine. You and me, we're hurting. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm down 25. I'm, I'm, I'm bloodied. Oh, okay. How, much you, how hurt are you right now? I'm 27 out of 66. And that's after laying on hands myself. <laughs> You are Maybe. technically, oh, is it? It's only polygon, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, it's, so 15, okay. Does that not help you, guys? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. She's not wearing any kinds of making, aren't you? <laughs> right. I'm very considerate, <laughs> Virgil. <laughs> I'm very considerate, you, Virgil, but uh, we we not like you. I mean, I had a wicked fart earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I <didn't> help that <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't think you want that mended, because that'd be closed, and I don't want think, that closed. I think I rip. I mean, I feel a breeze. <laughs> I don't know if I created it, or if I'm... I it's probably from your tail. <laughs> ah, that's right. <laughs> Does your tail go away when you stop raising? Yeah, it just comes out when you rage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it goes uh, back to being a little hippo tail. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not laid out in, in the thing. I don't know. What kind of, what does it look like? It's like an alligator tail? I mean, when we were still goblins with the blue dragons, it made more sense. <laughs> I, I just want a tail. <laughs> and I'm a hippo. I don't know. Tail. That's a... So maybe his little tail turns into a longer tail when he's tail. Walking, that's when tail. So, would you rather have wings like a bird 
Or Tao, like you talk. Oh, Tao! Leave the ticket on all day, too! <laughs> Love that stand up. <laughs> Jay Moore talking about his time working with Christopher Walken. You can wait. <laughs> People would know how happy you were. He's like, Jay, I noticed that your dog was in here a while ago. It didn't have a tail. <laughs> well, yeah, Chris, because they cut it off. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, it's a dude. It's an old, it's it's an old one. one. Yeah, okay. Like, it's an old one. You know, that way I'm going to forgive sounds. you. Like, you hate me. Because that was one of those that they did on Comedy Central, just the random yeah, like stand up set. Right. Jay Moore. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher Walken. Yeah. What well, was Jay Moore doing his impression of yeah, Christopher Walken? Yeah. Because he worked with him on, what was it Suicide Kings thing it was? I don't even remember. Yeah, it, was, it was a movie they worked on together and they, it was that oh, break in between. That's not where I Okay, fuck you. <laughs> it was a long ass time. You're watching comedy on Comedy Central? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Comedy specials on Comedy Central? Yeah. As long as that we go. So are you going to try to do any healing here at the bar? Uh, healing? I actually think we might want to do just a little bit of healing. I can do a cure wound on me and a cure wound on you. So we're at least you no longer bloodied. bloodied. You got slots for that? I have three first level spell slots left. Mm. I also have three healing potions as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I have four. I do mending. Okay, well, uh, uh, nine points back to you, and then seven back to me. Okay. So I'm only down eighteen, so I'm at least above half now. Uh, I'm down 30. How many healing potions do you have? Four. Which is like being down 60. <laughs> yeah. because yeah, technically you would be unconscious. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't raging that whole time. Yeah. I took a big hit in the first fight and I didn't rage then. Yeah. Hmm. All right then. Uh, so I'll pocket the, uh, the diamonds, and, uh, should we use another survival, uh, to get back to the ship unnoticed? Do we want to ask other questions about Eleanor? We will. I point to the bag. Right. <laughs> we will? Yeah, we, we, we will. <laughs> Not to the bartender. Right. They have business dealing with them already, so. Yeah. So. Alright. I mean, uh, so we yeah. take off back to the ship. We take off back to the ship? Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, we, we try and be. Uh, lose any tails. Okay, so. Uh, okay, I guess uh, I'll go and do a guidance and then do another perception to see if we're being followed again. Okay. Uh, aid, I'm looking to. Oh, you're aiding? Oh, sorry. I mean, um, yeah, if we're looking. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that's better. Okay, so. Uh, 25 on my perception skill. Twenty-five. Yeah, there's nobody following you now. Just keep on walking, keep on walking, searching. We're looking, we're looking. All right, when you get back to the to the dock area, um, you know, there's a bunch of those dudes that look like that. None of them are carrying musket clubs, but you're looking at them anyway. See if they're looking at you, but they're not. They're just loading stuff on and off. Um, with several ships that are also docked here today. No okay. one's keeping an extra eye on us or anything. Okay. Okay, we get on the ship and <laughs> pilot. <laughs> we will be below decks. <laughs> we should set sail somewhere. Two, yeah, true enough. It's four hours to the astral sea. Oh, uh, 
Uh, auto goblins. Load that. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Wait, wait. You can't keep it loaded. Then you'll gather moisture and the powder. Something tells me we might be using it soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll load it. It's not the firearms, is it? No, the problem is if it's loaded too early, it might not fire. Oh. <laughs> we should know that. Actually, right. I, I, well, the, the, technically, the, I wouldn't know that. You would be able to tell me if that's a And the auto know that. They're like, it's not a good idea. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't realize the auto gun was actually communicated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Firing and beat them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if they talk, then I ask them to explain, then... Yeah. yeah, okay. They're like, the powder sitting inside the cannon takes on moisture, and then if the if the ball seizes in the barrel due to changes in temperatures, then you can get a misfire, uh, and then the ball gets stuck halfway down the barrel, and we've learned a lot about cannons in the last day. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're very knowledgeable, little one. Yes. I appreciate it. Have shot ready, though, please. Okay, <laughs> we're ready. And, and two of them stand at the mouth of the cannon, one with a little bag of powder and one with a ball. Oh. There's a way. We're okay. ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you four, and I point to four other auto, auto goblins, come with me. Okay. They're following you. And I take out four of what? the muskets. Huh? What? You're doing a thing. Sorry. Okay. I take out four of the muskets, because we still have four left. <laughs> I hand one to each of the four and says, be ready to load these when the time comes to. Right, me, they look at we'll, we'll, we'll go ask Pilot how it's done. You've never loaded a musket before? No. Think of it as a smaller cannon. <laughs> oh, man, look at the barrel. Yeah, I see. It's a small cannon. We'll go ask the Pilot how it's done. <laughs> they will. <laughs> Off you go. They run off, and the pilot's got a little enclosed area there, but they knock on the door and it goes, you know, <laughs> goes down. Map on, huh? And they run in, and then they, mm -hmm. it goes back up. Who's this crab person on the deck? That's your three feet, but it's, it's Alex. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Crab person. That's, that's, it's DeBug. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, uh, I don't you were gonna say something. I don't think we should stay here. I thought you just said we were in the Astral Sea. No, we're four hours, four hours, hours away. Like, I, I don't think staying here on the system is a good idea. Okay. Because where else El should we go? Eleanor knows where the, the ammo came from. Sent, sent, sent an ambush out in the street so she didn't have to pay for it. Is that what that was? Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. I'd rather not be here, let a little heat die for a while. We should also interrogate the plan. guy in, the, in your bag. Yeah. Well, that's why I want us to go below decks. Can we do that? Okay, let's do let's do that first. Then I'll say what the alternate plan I had in mind was. <laughs> okay, I I just I don't think staying at dock right now would be good. With a dock loader under, screaming at the top of his lungs. Yeah. <laughs> well, there'd be any screaming by the dock loader in the docks with a bunch of dock loaders. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair <laughs> point. <laughs> Yeah. Pilot, you're bringing up lots of good points. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were That's Pilot. Oh. No, I was just pointing that out. Just for, you know, that you were surrounded by dock workers. Yeah. Well, I mean, being below decks, uh, manholes are covered, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it occurred to me just smooth as I said it. <laughs> Anywho. I thought we were fine. Oh, did I mention all the bodies were missing when you came out? No, no you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have said that. Yeah, you should. Yeah, they, they, somebody had <laughs> cleaned them up. How nice they keep There's still blood on the ground, but the bodies I was going to say, is the they blood still the there? so clean. How nice. Yeah, they keep the place pretty clean. Damn it. I wanted that uh, Albert pelt. I did. I got I, a feather. Everybody heard me call it. <laughs> she took a feather. 
not the same. Anywho, um, yeah, I don't know who, who we just saw. Uh, yeah, we need we need to take off from the dock. Okay, so we want to just go back to uh, the guano planet. Yeah, and just flutter around in in the atmosphere for a bit while we interrogate and figure out. Yeah, I remember it took planet. three days to get from the edge of wild, space, the wild to space to the planet. To the planet. So, yeah. Yeah. If you're going to guano planet, you got three days of real time plus Howard. Why would you long. stay in the sea? Why would you stay in the astral However sea? However long you want to fart around in the astral sea. Well, well we need yeah, time yeah, to, to, to fully heal up and get our spell slots back. Why can't you just do that in the astral sea? Because, because time, time does not... We don't uh, rest, don't need to eat, don't need to sleep. Yeah, but it should just be the same, yeah? No. Astral sea, time does not progress. Yeah, you need to be in wild space. Mm. Well, why can't we just go to the wild space of some random... So yeah, like, go the bug planet. like a bug planet? Yeah. Or you're planet. a hippo planet. We should be able to get some money. I don't fucking know power. where that is. <laughs> <laughs> you came from there, didn't you? Yeah, but you, you didn't look back. Man. I got amnesia. <laughs> I got amnesia. What? I missed your story. Did you really have it? I'm a dock worker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a deckhand. Like, I, 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 I do hope that and dock are completely different things, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> see you with your sassy pants on. <laughs> Dick is like a, a crew member. I didn't see you with yeah, your sassy pants workers, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I've done both. <laughs> you, you had to start somewhere, you know? Yeah. Anywho, okay. Um, yes, so yeah, let's, let's go back to, to the bug planets. Because again, the other thought was, again, we load as much of this stuff as we can, uh, process more and more gunpowder. Because again, the more we have, more money we potentially have two. Mm -hmm. We just gotta find a safer, and safer place to sell it. Yeah. But, but that also depends on what information we get from this guy. Because yes. again, I have some, I have an alternate idea, but I need more information before I would even propose it. Yes. You need more information. Yes. That is, that okay. Is. So, uh, I think we're all in agreement. We leave. We leave the dock. How long does the air bubble last? About 24 hours. 24 hours. 24? Yeah, 24 hours. And it's not concentration. I thought it cost the money. No. I thought it was only out. That's nice. Yeah. Page 22. Okay. Tweak something. I think he's tweaking it now. Yeah. Okay. So again. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We uh, leave the dock. All right. Make our way to. About the... an hour after uh, you leave the dock, the other guy's going to wake up. The other guy? What? The guy in the bag. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The guy I have no problem. I have no problem with him waking up. Again, he's tied up. We've already searched him, right? Maybe. Whoa. Yeah, he really didn't have Many. much. Did you take some damage? I took three damage. Oh. Oh, you just need to cast mending once. Cause it's I like, know. I know. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Mending lets you just use one of your hit dice, though. Oh, does it? Yeah. Actually, no. How long did it take us to get use your D four? Oh, forget it. Forget it. I'm not even gonna use it. Just one of your D four. How long did it take us to get from the bar back to the ship? Twenty minutes. So we've only been, so technically we haven't even broken dock yet then. We're still technically in the station. Well, I thought you had broken dock because of... Well, we were, we were in the bar for a half hour. Right. How long did it take us to get from the first ambush to the bar? Oh, I don't know. Another 20 minutes? So he's been awake for 10. Oh, right, because you're sitting in the bar, right? Mm -hmm. So he's been in the bag going... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Except he's tied up. He's just wiggling her up. No, no, hands behind back. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> hands behind back and they're tied together. And feet he's and just hands. wiggling around. Yeah. In his air bubble. And he's still gagged, by the way. And he's still gagged. Yeah. Again, the air bubble is just to make sure he can still breathe. Right. I don't need him speaking. Right. At least not yet. He speaks when I tell him to speak. <laughs> he will learn this. <laughs> Anywho. So you are leaving, though. Yes. Okay. We are still planning to leave. Okay. So, so you left the dock. 
Yes. And you're headed towards the Astral Sea. Yes. Mm-hmm. How long did it take us to get to the Astral Sea? Four hours. Four <laughs> I'm there? waiting on you, man. <laughs> Wait on me for what? Do okay. we get Action. there? Do we get to the oh, Astral Sea? Yeah. yeah, I thought you were going to talk to the dude or something. On the way. I'll wait till we. In, I'll wait till we get to the Astral Sea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, so everybody gets a short rest. If anybody has any short rest, because again, if I'm going to kick him off, or um, six hours. Yeah, but isn't uh, like action search just short rest? Uh, action search is a short rest. Oh, actually, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll do my second win too. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Uh, so that's D10 plus my level. I okay, my second it's, wind. no, but that one's fighter level for second wind. I think it actually Great. says only fire, fire. fire level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's second wind do? Gives you a D10 plus your fighter level and hit points as a bonus action. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep that. What's for a short rest? Okay, so it's another seven I get back from that then. Uh, I'm not worried about it. You're just gonna stay three down. The thing is, if you take a short, short rest, you're gonna get your second wind back, so you might as well use it. Okay. Uh, so I'll also three your points. Also do two hit die to start with during the short rest. Oh, okay. I'm using my short rest. All right, I am back to full now. Use your second win. You're back to full hit points. I got back right, <laughs> and then I took a short rest and I got back. Why well, I use I did three hit dice. I'm good. Okay. So I got my action surge. <laughs> And didn't have to use my tides of chaos. Alrighty. And I still have one or first level spell, spell slot left. How long are we traveling in the Astral Sea? Uh, how long do you want to travel in the Astral Sea? <laughs> well, actually, no, you have told us before because it took us a week to get from the planet back here. No, it took three days to get to the from the wild space to the planet. But it also took a week to process all of the guano into the, the powder. No, they did that in three days. Oh, they did that in three days? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. I could have... I remember hearing I don't know that. where... I remember hearing a week was mentioned. Oh, I think so. I, re- I remember what you said. I mean, like, over the three days to get out of the bug planet. Okay. But, it, but, you know, by the time you got to the bug planet and back from bug planet, it was almost a week, right? Uh, it was three days. Ah, uh, oh, that's where I'm hearing the week. Three days. Okay. Okay. So almost a week, so three days there, three days back, okay. Right. All right, the reason why I was asking is because it occurred to me, is like, I could be making scrolls. Oh, you could make scrolls over the three day period yeah. as you travel to the Guano planet. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't have a lot well, from our cuts. It's 125 each, because we are still cutting Alex and all But you gotta that. go get some stuff, though. We got 600 gold just from a... Uh... Right, <laughs> except you're not at 7-Eleven. <laughs> we, we gotta to buy some stuff. <laughs> what more stuff do we need? Parchment. You can't turn gold into... Or diamonds in this case. <laughs> into scrolls. You gotta buy scroll stuff. This is fantasy, man! <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, um... Da, da, da. Is this your first time playing that character? Type of character? Well, no. no. Before you always had the. Always know, had the means. You're a PG seven. You oh, just tell I some goblin you need some shit, yeah. hand some money, and you're good, right? Yeah. Well, so the resources were always there. They right. were they were provided, so to speak. Whereas now you're like floating around on a ship with mm-hmm. money and no sandwiches. I mean, you have sandwiches, but I'm saying you can't turn money into sandwiches. <laughs> we don't have a food box or a pit. Do you eat the licorice, or do you just carry it around to wave at people? I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have to suspend it. Strangle people with it. Right. Anywho. Okay. Did you get the um, create food and water spell? Tomorrow? It's part of the cleric spell list, right? It is part of the cleric spell It's first okay. level or not. Oh, it's second level. I think it's second level. Right. I might be wrong. Right. Well, I'll well, in a moment. So I honestly can't remember. It is on my list. Yes. Right. It was only second level in the good edition. I mean, the other edition. <laughs> Okay. I don't like that. I mean, didn't mean that that edition was better than this edition. I mean, it was better than the one in between. Third. I had no idea. Oh, it's actually third. 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 Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah I, knew, I knew it was. Oh, not, no, it was second. Yeah, it was one of those that. Yeah, you right. gotta I have a second or third. Like, 
Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna have, have access to until fifth level. All right, so we do actually need to be a little cautious about time on rations. Yes. So if we're just floating, doing nothing, like, is that what we're doing? Yes. As of right now, because I realize I don't have resources. Take some of those suspenders and make a long strap. Okay. I wear it as a tie. What? <laughs> and wear it as a tie. No. <laughs> no. Just making it longer. How long is each? Suspender. Those guys are pretty big, so I mean, you know, four feet per suspender, you've got a bunch of feet. So I could make one four. I'm gonna make one that's 12 feet. Okay. With some knots in it? And then, well, not, no. I'm a highly specialized machine. <laughs> are you doing some leather working then? Yeah. Okay. Do they have the tools for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to come out pretty bad then. All right. Let's see. Oh, wait. What do I have? <laughs> what does cartography... What does thieves tools? <laughs> what do they have tools, tools for thieving? <laughs> Basically picking locks. All right. So I can punch the holes. Right? No. Okay. No, those tools, they are not... Designed to 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 leather work or any type of seamstress work. You can use they a dagger probably and punch some holes. Right. Yeah. Dagger, yeah, but these tools, no, those are precision precision type tools for specific I got use. Daggers and darts. I can make a that that you can absolutely do it. <laughs> are, you nice. knit, are you knitting on our trip? <laughs> we have an interrogation like that happened here. Hey, okay. <laughs> we go to the actual sea. We're going to the actual All right, so we're in the actual sea. We're going to break out this, this, this asshole. All okay. right. All right. So you don't interrogate him until after you get to the actual sea. I mean, yeah, I don't know exactly. we're going to interrogate him, but that's the plan, right? Well, yeah. All right. That's precisely the plan. Great. We do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's looking pretty well rested at this point. Uh, oh, great. He's uncomfortable back. being tied up, but... Must say he can't be well rested. He's uncomfortable. He ain't sleeping. But he had, you know, he had a short rest. <laughs> Who the fuck is Eleanor? This is Eleanor, the big boss. Yeah. She runs station. Okay, I, I didn't need you to tell me that. I, you I asked knew that. I knew that part. <laughs> you asked me that, Flota? Why you ask me questions you don't need me to tell you? Did you say, did you say call me a Flota? Slap him. Slap him. <laughs> Why are you calling me? Seventeen on fast. Okay, well you would have been she's tied up, but um <laughs> <laughs> So that's uh slap one plus your strength monitor four points damage? Uh really. Yeah. Three. Three's my yeah, that's what twenty. Yeah, four points damage. Stop calling me slow. I mean you only get slapped sometimes so it goes unconscious again, right? So I'm just keep trying. <laughs> okay. One. Right. Obviously. Dang, Bob Floater. You see these straps? Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't be slapping me Stop. around. Unti untie me first. Then try to slap me around. Listen, punk. <laughs> Just Ooh, answer the questions. Do it. do it. Okay, I put my hand I on Virgil's shoulder. Answer questions me complain about my answer. Put my hand on Virgil's shoulder. Step back, please. <laughs> uh, big fellow. Step back, please. <laughs> All right. Are you going to untie him? No. All right. I'll tie him. I was just trying to <laughs> Actually, not untie him, but I'm going to... Where, where are we at now? We sir, uh, on our ship. Hold still, please. <laughs> uh, I'm going to release it so his hands and feet aren't tied together. Okay. So he can at least sit. So his hands are tied together and his feet are tied together, but yeah, now he's comfortable. Yeah, he can actually sit and... He's no longer hog tied. Right. Yes. <laughs> There. Now you're in a less uh, discomforting position. We need a bit more information concerning uh, Miss Nakatomi. You got a sandwich? I believe we might be able to come up with something. I'll stuff his face with licorice. <laughs> that is not a sandwich, and I do apologize for my <laughs> eagerness of my Eat this crew. <laughs> Eat your licorice. Then you gotta go back and get more. 
I got leather straps. I don't even need licorice. <laughs> don't even need licorice anymore. Uh, unless you found that uh, fulfilling, <laughs> we can continue on with this discussion. He's chewing away. <laughs> a mouthful of licorice. Yeah, obviously you're not gonna throw me as a big boss. What 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 else like how did you become an employment of Miss Nakatomi? I ain't working no Nakatomi. Keeping my head down. I do do security for I lost my paper. Here it is. Do security for Kellen Toolmaker. Kellen Toolmaker? Yeah. He's fucking he's fucking me up. Stay, Ooh, stay out of, stay out of Miss Eleanor's way. Your companions had a pouch with the E N. Psh, everybody got money. So these pouches here, and I show them the pouch. Uh -huh. These are just gifts of Miss Nakatomi. You have diamonds with E N on it. <laughs> Are you there? Does she uh, open it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're, 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 we're below decks. Yeah, I can hear everything on my own ship. Thank you. <laughs> we can't hear you. This <laughs> can't because she's telepathic. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're just now learning this. Yep. <laughs> you weren't here last week to tell us these things. Shouldn't be like talking to you last week. You definitely weren't here to tell us. On the bank? Yeah, okay, yeah. Eleanor the bank. That's good. Is she really on the bank? Eleanor makes the diamond. I was about to say, People I'm more that she is the bank. Not only, she is the bank. Did you ever try to carry around 50 gold pieces? Man, leave a lump in your pocket. You see these guns? And he's got his tight little shorts on. I ain't seen it. <laughs> pocket space is a premium. You see these guns? Yeah, I can carry anything. <laughs> then he goes, she make a shitty loader. <laughs> is that a short joke? <laughs> she slaps him again. Seventeen. Four more points, damage. <laughs> you want to get slapped? You doing okay? Before he's cut. Before he goes unconscious. It actually, no, seriously. In all seriousness, how is he looking right now after the second slap? <laughs> <laughs> after the second slap. Uh, he's all right, huh? Okay. I mean, we had knocked him unconscious. That means he was at least down all of his hit points when he went unconscious. Right, right, right. But then he had a short rest. Uh-huh. And some licorice. And some licorice. Food does not equate to healing. But this is the guy with information, so if we kill him, maybe we can bring him back. Oh, he's got, yeah, he started with all his hit points. So oh, he started with all his hit points? So he's just down eight. Okay. All right. I think you can slap him, uh, four more times? Six more times. Six more times. <laughs> All right. You want to? Again, I'm just keeping track. Okay. Rachel doesn't like you talking to NPCs. Clearly. <laughs> so she runs the banks. Fuck. What, I had, I what had does she need uh, ammo for? Let's see. What do we need ammo for? Hmm. She's like what the mayor. What does this guy know? She's like the mayor. What do you know? You don't know Hmm. You don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your strength modifier? <laughs> Plus three. That's another four damage. Alright, does he know? Does he not have to, he doesn't have to roll at all? Well, yeah. Is roll. that an advantage because he's restrained? Yeah. There's a 16 plus 6 or a 14 plus 6. So, a hit. Yeah. For four. Yeah. I'm not mad yet, so. <laughs> 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 As you can see, my companions here like to do violence. <laughs> now, I myself am not opposed to violence. Yeah, float, floaters and loaders never get along. Okay, flo floaters well, and loaders. I had some people. Explain your floaterness. The, the, uh, the floaters is the shit people, and the loaders yeah, is the yeah. shit people. You don't? I don't speak your accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some oil. <laughs> Wait, what's the one for? Hey, drink. Are you just fucked up? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, I was confused. I'm like, I'm <laughs> Do you not understand? Like, oil? <laughs> I'm not used to contracts, right? Con yeah. yeah, okay. No, you're okay. stupid. <laughs> no, he's stupid. So, 
I, I just have to ask, so, <laughs> the, the outfits. Who chooses the outfits? That's what all the loners wear. Because... You gotta keep your dick covered. <laughs> I stand up. I stand up. You see the pants. So. <laughs> pants too hot. It's hot on the dock. How hot is it on the dock? Yeah, uh, you're working on the dock. It gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If uh, pilot uh, asks that question, I expect him to be looking around like, "Who the hell said that?" Just assuming somebody can say it. Anyways, okay. uh... So, again, pretty much confirms what we're already doing. Nakatomi's behind oh, everything. Yeah. 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 A bunch of information that came out to nothing. Yeah. yeah. So, what are we going to do with them? Hey, Loda, you like to swim? <laughs> Can you swim in space, Loda? <laughs> Loda don't swim. <laughs> right. <laughs> just, like, just like Charlie don't surf. <laughs> We are in the astral sea, so we can drop him off here. And even when the air bubble goes out, he's not going to die. He's just going to drift around. Really? Yep. Until someone finds him. Remember the whole, like, <laughs> Until the, the astral dreadnought finds him, yes. Hey, Loda, want to be a floater? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to be a floater. Floater's dumb. Throw him out! <laughs> Actually, hold on a second. No, no. Don't throw him out. <laughs> What's, okay. What is the deal between Nakatomi and this tool maker? Psh, I don't know. Yo, Sim. But you were, you were there to, I'm assuming, hijack all shipments we had on yeah. behalf of this tool maker. Yeah, tool maker said you had power and you had a deal. He said if the deal, if you didn't want to do the deal, then we were supposed to take it. I see. Hmm. So Fluffy... Do the Toolmaker and Nakatomi get along? Like, you're going to fuck me up. Your accent is... Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do my Loda accent, he's going to keep it yeah. and gives me a I can't just speak regularly. Because <laughs> I have too many relatives that talk like he does. <laughs> hey, I'm a character, okay? <laughs> yeah. What is the, the relationship between Toolmaker and Nakatomi? I don't know. Toolmaker makes tool. Nakatomi. Maybe Nakatomi buys tools. I don't know. You're not very helpful, you know that? <laughs> I'm a load up. Give <laughs> him some swimming lessons. Might be time for some swimming lessons. I'm a great instructor. <laughs> I'm a great instructor. <laughs> <laughs> Says the robot. <laughs> Paddle your arms. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Do you have a swim for you? No, I thought we got our own stage test. So tell uh, me. The swim have... speed translates into weightless speed, right? Yeah. So I, I have a swim speed. <laughs> I mean, you're you walking. Yeah, no. you don't have a swim. No. No. So no. the tool maker can uh, acquire your services and any of the other Dock loaded services mm. at their discretion. Yeah, two make He pays good money. And Ms. Nakatomi does the same offer, I assume. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. See, you work for Nakatomi. I don't think you get to quit. Sometimes, sometimes security is not the best interest. So who did Fluffy belong to? Was that Toolmaker or was that Nakatomi? Fluffy. Oh, the the big monster. Yeah. Ah, that's some loader. He keep at his pet. I seen that guy around, but he's not a friend. Now you're going Cajun on me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it is your... Yeah, it's fucking... Yeah, it's well, I'm supposed to be doing Cajun. <laughs> well, that's actually the first time it actually sounded like Cajun to me. Okay. <laughs> Sweet Mama Odie. <laughs> <Hey. Big Mama? laughs> yeah. It's hard, okay. it's hard to do Cajun in talking with you. <laughs> not, not you, but you. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Uh, okay. 
Uh, Alright then, so at this point I think I've gotten all the questions I can think of to ask. So Toolmaker and Nakatomi, apparently they're just independent of each other. It doesn't sound like they're right. rivals at all. Yeah, it doesn't sound which like doesn't they're rivals. S- they're not working together. Yeah. Um, the loaders don't want to go work for Nakatomi because they don't get to quit. That sound like yeah, the way he's making it sound. Yeah, you can die on the job, or, or it must be a, it must be a really good deal. I'm gonna offer too good to refuse. Hmm. Could be. Should we let this guy go? What what happens? What happens mm-hmm. if we let you go? Are you gonna get his bowler decks? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's, well, where are we? No worry about it. What happens if we let you go? I suppose I go back to work. Where? Loaded. Baluda. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and, and if the tool maker says come after another group of people, you just do it? Tool maker says come after you again, I'm gonna need more money. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so the Nakatomi treatment. You get paid like the Nakatomi people. I don't know. I don't know what the Nakatomi people make. It must be good, though. Must, must be good. She can't quit. Okay, so also this seems to be a good warning for us not to get in bed with Nakatomi either. Because mm-hmm. honestly, that's... Had I not gotten that information, my suggestion would be why not just work for her. Supply her with the gunpowder. Yeah. Cut out the middleman type deal. Now that being uh, said, now I, that I being either, said, I don't think either is is a good idea. We're going to be fighting the other one. If we make, if we choose a side, we're going to be fighting the other. If we choose neither, we're going to be fighting both. Does Toolmaker hold hold grudges? Oh. How long have you been on that station? Station all my whole life. And you love it. And you don't know the answer to that question. Or whether Toolmaker holds grudges. Is he Tool, new there too? Toolmaker ain't mad at me. Then he's never crossed the Toolmaker. What'd tool you get paid to be a loader? Loader make two silver. Two silver shift. A shift? Yeah. Shift? How long Sometimes I work a double. I've been drinking too much. How long is <laughs> a shift? Pay some more money. Shift eight hours? Eight hours. Hmm. hmm. Wait there. <laughs> <laughs> you hit him now? What's your stream on fire? Plus three. <laughs> You're strong too? Fuck you. I'm a fighter. <laughs> That's right. We're all 16 fighter, strength. Fighter barbarian. 16 strength barbarian. Yeah. Not there. Okay, cool. <laughs> <coughs> all right. He's about halfway. <laughs> okay. We, we can just go to the main deck. Uh, yeah. Uh, tie him... Back hog tie. Tie him to the <laughs> center mass down there. I mean, there is center no, mass. There. Like a support beam down on the... Okay. The thing. Okay. Something, something sturdy. Uh, Keep him from rolling away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but he's hog tied though. So the rope that's keeping his hands and uh, feet together, that's where it's actually at. Okay. Double rope. I got a chain. You got a chain? And Switch a, to the chain. And a big leather strap. <laughs> Switch to the chain, actually. The chain will uh, keep his hands and uh, feet bound together then. Okay. Just in case he gets the idea to try and uh, <laughs> use friction to no. weaken the uh, bindings. So it's a chain, chain, yeah. Okay. Nice, sweetheart. This, this guy is just doing, doing his job. I don't think he's actually doing anything wrong. Right. He's a loader. What if he's loaded? He didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I do believe you have a couple scars that say different. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Dinner. 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 Dinner.
We all go in the bug world. <laughs> I don't think you're in last long enough. Bug world now. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> what if we nice double his pay and make him be our loader? Yeah, that's a good idea. He knows a lot. Pay him for Uh huh. Because he is just a loader. Uh huh. Who knows what he can pick up? Right. Double I swear pay. Swear your own goes... to us. <laughs> do it now. Do it now. No, again, it's paid informant, so he brings the information, then he gets paid. Right. Mm. So basically, we encourage him, we'll give him something, because he has given us information. Uh -huh. So when we return to Doc, go to that for them. See, I was, I was thinking the opposite. Okay, I was thinking uh, of making him full-time with us, and then just like sending him in uh, for like <laughs> random shifts when we need him to. That's better than working I'd rather keep him there, on actually, on station. Because if he's on station, the more information he can get. Right. But. Are you guys uh, up on top deck now? Yeah. Yes. We're, we're away from him, but we're having yeah, this we're conversation. Away from him. Yeah. Okay. Why is that cool? What? Well, I was going to have some Autobot do something different. I call him Autobot again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to have some Auto Goblin do something, but I can't think of anything for him to do now. So. Okay. Oh, actually, Auto Goblin, keep an eye on him. <laughs> You tell me a lot of people. Yes, tell me a lot of Actually, okay, no, hold on. Uh, before we, instead of hog tying him again, I actually have the auto, auto goblins come in, but hog keep an eye on him, that way he's still comfortable. Three times. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, this is basically uh, rewind. We, we didn't actually do what we did, we we're actually doing this Red instead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fred Con? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> a complete redo. Do over. Any use. Right, no, I, I think, uh, <clears throat> think consistent work doesn't have to be a loader every single day. Is an, is an informant and can act as a uh, uh, double agent. Um, can get more information for us. Yeah, the informant. Yeah, but again, part of being an informant needs to do his normal job. Right. But we'll double his pay to whenever us. we come back to Doc to get information. Is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. So he's still doing his job. Well, I mean, if we he show up, if he doesn't provide any information, then we could just let him go. It, yeah. In the, in the, in the bug planet. <laughs> okay. Who's got persuasion? Second. I've got persuasion. I got persuasion. What, what, what's your bonus? Then? Four. Rochambeau to see who's playing we go with. <laughs> Here, hand me your paper bag. I'll make you score. Let's just roll really this thing. Yeah. Okay. Just, just roll, a, roll a d20. See if you get some higher on. Okay, rollies. We're doing rollies now. Uh, total or? Oh, uh, if we're talking about persuasion, I got a 7. Okay, I got 14. <laughs> then we're going with your plan. <laughs> All right. Yes. Paid informant. We'll pay him four silver a shift. Well, what constitutes a shift? A day. Because you can't work twice in a day. He does. Oh, fuck you. No, you don't. You can't make two <laughs> potions in a single day. That's only 16 hours. He works doubles. He, sa he said he does oh, doubles. you can't do that. <laughs> you can't make two potions in a 16-hour period of time. <laughs> it's just a loader. It doesn't take a lot of If you're a level 15 cleric, you can't make more than one potion a day. Because, like, a potion potion requires a lot of concentration. You're just carrying boxes. <laughs> Box, boxes are heavy. Hey, hey. <laughs> Load is heavy. That's heavy. how he made Load it. Load look so good in those shorts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say it, but she went and said it. What's the air bubble spell called? Air bubble? Air bubble. Air bubble. Air bubble. It's a seven level spell. Do I get that spell? Do I get my slots back? Uh, we haven't done a long rest. Yeah, we haven't done a long rest. Great, but uh, yeah, I think I think we try and um, have him under our employee. Employee. For Again, this is why I would say he keeps keep doing his job. Keep he's basically right, getting he a double work. pay. Yeah, he's getting double pay. Yeah. We'll pay him four silver a shift. Honestly, I was going to pay him based on the information. 
if it's good oh. information. Yeah, otherwise you can just dip. Yeah. Right. I mean, we'll give him four silver as the base. He finds himself on both planets. Because if he gives yeah. us just, yeah. just yeah. information, yeah. we give him four silver. But it turns out to be some pertinent information, a bonus on top of sure. it. Sure. Sure. But I mean, in yeah, order for him to get that, he needs to be <laughs> on, base, on the station. The, yeah, the base per diem is four silver. Yeah. But in order for him to get the information, he needs to be on station. Right. So. Yes, let him be there. When, when we come and check in, if he doesn't have good information anymore, or non-relevant information, then we just take him out the bug plant. I don't want to drown. <laughs> <laughs> Even I don't want to do that, because again, he may not have good information all the time. He may not have any information all the time. That is yeah, this the is a motivator to get good information. That's the incentive to get good right. information. Oh, you're giving him one of them jobs he can't quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying not to go that route. <laughs> But you, you won the roll, so I, <laughs> as much as I don't worse. want to go with it. I was like, so when it comes to the point, I'm just going to say this. When it comes to the points where he doesn't have good information, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, son, but I was against this, but <laughs> he, he, he's just better than me. <laughs> I'm stronger. <laughs> Do that. That's more fun. <laughs> Stronger, huh? Do, you want to have an arm? You want? Okay. Oh, you get an arm wrestle. Fuck this. I'm a hippo. <laughs> I'm a hippo. All right. I'll get the advantage of, of athletics. <laughs> okay. Are we just using the? Is it the saving throw or just, just strength? Athletics. Oh. Okay. Then uh, I don't have athletics. <laughs> Seventeen. I beat you twenty. Arm wrestling it. Uh, <laughs> arm wrestling and hip hop. Cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see. How, we'll see how it goes. It doesn't have to go to to Bug Planet after the first week. Okay. It lasts a week. All we'll right. Check in every few days. See what kind of information he gets. Every time we check in, if he. Okay, so we want to take yeah. him back to the station now. Because again, we're still only four hours away from the station. We need to uh, lose uh, lose heat. Okay, so not that he knows who we are, where well, I mean, not where, but what ship we're on, and that we were nearby four hours ago. Okay, four hours? so no, are we just gonna keep him below deck? So we're gonna have him come up. We're gonna keep. We're, it, he needs to agree to this as well. If he doesn't want to agree to this, then we could just drop him off and plug planet now. Okay, so should we do the persuasion roll <laughs> now then? Sure. Okay. Guidance and I'll age you. Okay. And you're gonna try to convince him to be an informer? Yeah. Double fifteens for nineteen. Oh, and a guidance? Yep. Uh twenty-two. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh yeah. What kind of information do you want? All of it. <laughs> I actually honestly I mean, for a situation like this. Every bit of information you oh, get. Yeah, it, you're, you're a loader. You, you hear, hear a lot of yeah, but You hear I about wanna... any ships coming in and they got some sort of uh, unique uh, cargo. We want to hear about it. Okay. If you hear that there's rumblings, load, load can do cargo. Yeah. yeah. If ships you hear in, ships going out, with, uh, any other business to you, like, you know. If there turns out to be some type of friction between this tool maker and Nakatomi, we want to hear it. Tool, tool if you hear rumors about it anything happening with Nakatomi, Nakatomi and anybody. Yeah. Yeah. But these are the two big names that we have. So right. Far. I want to know everything, everything you can about these two people. Yeah. If somebody else comes in and seems to be making a power play, we want to know about it. Do you know what a power play is? <laughs> Loda. It's when you stack two crates. You pay me us. Almost really? getting ready. <laughs> okay, so I think that's uh, job consensus. Uh, it, it seems very agreeable. I mean, okay. one, he gets to go back to the station. Two, he gets paid extra. <laughs> All right. I want to check back in a few days for. A report, but we need to stay stay low. Okay, oh, yeah, so yeah, we gotta. That's the other part. We gotta know he's gonna be with us for uh, at least a week. 
build that rapport. I mean, he'll get paid every time we come and uh, collect information. Yeah, he's just going to stay in a hole for a week. He's sitting in a hole for a week. Because, again, you said we're going to be killing time. That's that per shift. Oh, my word. We'll feed him. We'll keep him alive. Yeah, we are going to keep him alive. But what do you mean per shift? Uh, again, he's not the, doing The days he's on uh, the space station. But he's not going to be on the space station for at least a week. You said you wanted us to... Lose heat. Lose heat, remember? Oh, right. Before I'm, we I'm, go back and... <laughs> right, no, no. And he's actually short and starts, but yeah. There's no way we can get him back without us going back to the thing. Sorry. He can't just swim there. No. From here. Right. No. <laughs> Whoops. And there's no other form of transportation from here to there. We don't have a D. Unless we come across another ship here in the Astral Sea. Yeah. Totally That's have going two days. Yeah, but the dinghies don't go too far. <laughs> and also, if it things. goes to the space station, that's and we're going to need both those dinghies. Mm. Okay, so for a week, uh, I'm going to go ahead and untie him. Okay. Because sure. again, uh, a deal has been made. Why don't you have him followed with by a with the auto goblin with the gun? Nah, he's well, not, not, not with a gun, but an auto goblin will be with him at all it times. Looks intimidating. Do you do you want a do you want a gun? You could follow him around. She'll just follow him oh, around with her licorice. She can't. She fed it to him. Yeah, yeah. You already yeah. ate my licorice, but I got. Uh, you gave him all of. Your I got a nice leather strap that I can. Eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can follow him around with okay, the strap. So the idea we're gonna, we're gonna of this auto goblin first not having any clue what actual, like, biological <laughs> yeah, like, is I don't know so what they good. <laughs> <laughs> this leather strap looks like licorice. Yeah, le- 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 leather, le- that's le- organic le- material, right? <laughs> can I see that? <laughs> so we'll pay him for a week to, uh, um, for downtime, lose heat, and then we'll continue to pay him once we <clears> drop him off. Uh, yes. So I figure we'll still go back to so you're the bug planet. You're paying me two silver a day. Just hang out in the hold here. Mm-hmm. Plus food. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll feed you. Get What's a leather strap? Got, you any, got any bourbon? Bourbon. Listen, <laughs> loader. Oh. Uh, it's, uh, it's my private stock, <laughs> sir. <laughs> my I will tie right. you a bottle for the entire trip. Have you ever loaded trip. anywhere else? Nah, I'm born uh, I'm born in Nassau. Mama's in Nassau. You never been anywhere else? You ever heard so of? Loaded, loaded, don't go nowhere. <laughs> floated if people go in places. <laughs> You've been floated somewhere to load somewhere else? No. First time off from Nassau. First time out in Nassau. Where are we at again? <laughs> oh, right now right we are Nassau. in the That's astral you know. seat. This is what. And his face kind of like a goose. Like, ah, uh, is it safe out here? No. <laughs> you want to check, sa- you wanna check our safety? <laughs> is it anywhere I safe? I the drop-off. Is there, have we, is there any other? Lori don't like that. Lori need, Lori, Lori needs some du- a deck to stand on. <laughs> You're standing on a deck, buddy. Right, but do we know of any? Uh, does the pilot know of? Pilot! Wow. Okay, who's, who's got the cartographer tools again? That's me. On the navigator. The both of you should be working together to actually, s- if you're looking for a, a place. I want a secondary location, yes. Yes, that would be between you two to figure out. Pilot! <laughs> <laughs> Can you take us somewhere not Nassau? No. No, she won't do it. <laughs> Okay. Because this guy belongs on Nassau, and from what I gather, you basically just kidnapped him. No, we're keeping the heat off of him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pilot, you are correct. <laughs> we can give you some licorice. I, heard. <laughs> I heard you gave it to that guy. <laughs> I don't know what you heard, but... <laughs> we, we need to not go there for a little while. Can we just drop this guy off in the hole? Why do we need to keep him? I'm afraid if we even get close, 
that we're gonna be. He's skittish. He's skittish. <laughs> you know this one? <laughs> I'll throw you off the boat. <laughs> yeah. We need to not be on Nassau for a little bit. We wouldn't we're, be we're on gonna... Nassau. We drop him and run. Hmm. Again, I, I was planning on us going back to the bug, the bug planet. We get more cargo. We kill time by having the auto goblins convert Why that from. Why do we still have this man? <laughs> He's our guest. <laughs> We're trying to be our guest. I don't think, I, I don't think you guys should be tying up your guests. I'm just. He's saying. untied. He's untied. He's untied. <laughs> Now, <laughs> we're going to the bug planet. Yeah, we're going to the bug planet. We're going to the bug planet. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was under the. Uh, the uh, that's why I thought we were planning to do with these. I was, a, uh, I was just a little concerned about ration. I'm good. I would think. Dude, I'm good. <laughs> I would have thought we would have uh, filled up on rations when before we, we left. Duck. Every time we duck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we know. What we're gonna need, and my my plan was again, we we're gonna go from here back to Bug World so we get enough rations for that trip. Okay. Actually no. Right. Actually no. Do we have to track food? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, cool. Enough food rations for box for up. basically <laughs> double. But if I tell you ran out of food, then you ran out of food. <laughs> I'll say, Did you grab some food for the crew while you were at the town? Yep, every time I talk. <laughs> I got my I got my hippo food and my dark elf food and oil. Octopus food. <laughs> well, Octopus food. And a load of food? I don't know what load of food. Is. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting thing. a loader. That's right. <laughs> so far he's just asked for sandwiches and bourbon. And you got licorice. <laughs> we got liquor. And guess what else you got? Well, actually, I'm not going knuckles. <laughs> actually, when we hit the astral sea, he wouldn't have felt yeah, the desire to eat anything. anyways. No. Or drink. I mean, he doesn't need to. He <laughs> I frequently eat when I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> you just drink because it's fun. <laughs> not loading for a week? Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we'll go to the bug uh, planet for a week or so. Okay. Um, Load up on, on some more supplies and then go drop this guy back off. Yeah. Could use an excuse to go back, get some more supplies, and then head back to uh, the bug world. Wait, you say. Go to yes. NASA, get supplies, and then go to Bug World. He's the opposite. Go to Bug World. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, we go. We got. We got. I think you guys are on the same page. You're yeah, we're just saying different things. Same, like, we could use the loader to load bat shit. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You're paying load. him anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thing. Cool. Do that. All right. So we explain to him what we're doing. Only part of it. Not that the full. How are we gonna get his ass through the bugs? He's not gonna go down there. I was gonna load. Well, He's I was gonna, gonna unload, load. actually. Oh, unload well, the dinghies. gonna load. Mm -hmm. Unload the dinghies. Yeah. Right, cool. Wait, are you an unloader too? We get up there and he's like, I'm a loader, not an unloader. Loader, load off, load on, load up. <laughs> All he, gets the, he gets the concept, that's what he's saying. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> Cool, he'll unload the dinghies onto the main ship. Cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the same way, man. Yeah. Because I'm only human. <laughs> 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 so you're going by Yeah. Bug world. What are you going to do by world? Uh, we're going to nap in the atmosphere for a minute. Okay. Well, we have three days. We, it's three days from the Astral Sea to the Bug World. So we'll have plenty of time to... Oh, we'll in the Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? Well, when we, the wild space wild is the space. atmosphere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, no. The wild space is the space between the astral sea and the planet. So that's three days of vacuum space travel. Okay. Can we get a long rest? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> three of them, actually. Three long rests. Actually, okay, cool. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, this time when the astral sea doesn't count towards your pay. Ha ha. You don't get paid in the astral sea. <laughs> um, so, you sense there's a ship up ahead. Oh, exciting. Uh, that's in orbit around the bug town planet. Feels less friendly to me than a ship that isn't in the way. Right. There's a ship up ahead. Thoughts? Does it look like? I can't sense it, not see it. Just use your eyes. <laughs> well, if you open up eyes. your shutter, maybe you'll see it. Why would I want to look at you guys? <laughs> Why would you not want to look at this? And I'm standing behind him with my ass hanging out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that. My big old fool. You should look at the moon. <laughs> it's beautiful this time of year. <laughs> Which moon? Covered by the This one. <laughs> Uh, do I sense life forms <laughs> on the ship? Uh, no, Don't care if they're intelligent or not. Just, just a ship. All right. You, you know that uh, their um, if their helmsman is paying attention, he probably senses you your, your ship as well. Friendly. But I haven't seen each other yet. Friendly. Oh, uh, sorry. What's the uh, what's the Lotus name? Faka. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Should I load the cannon? How far away from this ship are we? How far away from the ship are we? Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> you just turned into Sigourney Weaver from Galaxy. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Listen, I have one job, and I'm going to do it, as stupid as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as close as you want to be, but, um, you know, you sensed it, you know, from a million miles away. You sensed it from a million miles away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no life forms? None I can sense yet. We're too far. We're a million miles away. <laughs> um, how close do you have to be to actually sense life forms? Oh, you gotta see them. Obviously. It's a straight up line of sight to yeah. you at that point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You got a spyglass? Uh, no. <laughs> Probably. Dude, you didn't buy... How much were your guns? <laughs> okay, that explains that. Explains that. <laughs> He's got a lot Both, of both Virgil and I spent 1500 on our arms, so we cannot afford a spyglass. Yeah, a spyglass is fucking thousands. I know, right? <laughs> how much did we spend? 1500 on for the play alone. alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was that cheap. I, I, think I, I don't have my math ah. scratch paper here right now, but yeah, you know I, I think I spent 1500 in guns. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, total, I think I spent like four, 1400 Okay. What? All right. Do like I have to buy gear. my war hammer? Yeah. And my shield. Yeah. How much is the hammer? You do that on your own. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's all on you. Uh, I, I did my math. I got. Shield. I did my shopping. I wrote down my receipts. Plate. Yeah, so I, I got a hundred. I got a hundred in my account. Essentially, I got hundred and twenty-six gold, two silver, and three and seven copper left. That's not counting what we got sure, from this payday. Yeah, I have five hundred ninety-one gold. It's not enough for spyglasses. Fuck off. <laughs> Did you buy any other gear? Yes, I got a great axe, two pistols, a musket, a club, a soft rope, navigators. Yeah, I got I got a bunch of shit. I got a ladder. I got a ten foot pole. Ten foot ladder. I got ten extra poles. I got cow chops and holy water just in case and some <laughs> dungeoneer's pack and yeah no. Oh, you went the Dungeoneer's Pack, that's why you got... Well, I also bought no. Healing I mean, Potions, Outlaw, and, and Piton before the Dungeoneer's Pack, but yeah. yeah. But the Dungeoneer's Pack was... Anyways, okay. The, well, right, I, the I, Explorer's I, I Pack gives you 10 gold. Right, I don't know if it's... Maybe it's 
think it's called something. I think I caught tingles. Oh. Uh-huh. One says it gives you a pouch and oh no no sorry. That's that, your background. That's my drifter, yeah, that's my that's my background. You're right. Oh, I didn't add that gold from the sailor. Stuff was that? Like maximum tangle? Ten, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that a bigger cannon? Yeah. They have a bigger cannon than us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, those dwarven bastards! So as you guys, uh, as you guys come into the planet, I yeah, we're 2,400 feet away. I, I aim my cannon. <laughs> they have a bigger cannon. I aim my cannon at 2,400 yeah. feet. Yeah, put the rune priest on there. Put <laughs> the four castle? Yeah. See a bunch of dwarves yelling at you, and they go, and, and they go, hey, go around. Go around. Pilot, go around. Don't go around. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Lining up the shot on their cannon from a very far range. <laughs> I'm a good shot. I know. I'm just going to start shooting at him. I'm lining it up. Do you even know what the. <laughs> all right, well, you're 2,400 feet away now. And you see them though, they're, they're all shouting. Go away! Go away! Why? What's wrong? You need help? <laughs> Why? You need help? <laughs> I'm sure they have a spyglass. So you're up here at the cannon. Yep. This Autobot says, what do I do? <laughs> Get ready to reload. So they, they're doing it. Uh, Go. Autobot shield. Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> Roll out. Go, go be the hull. <laughs> go be the hull. Okay. Then he goes down. And you're in 2400 feet. You're going to shoot at him? Do you want to talk? Give me a moment. <clears throat> Guidance, you aiding me on persuasion? Sure. Okay. Okay, that's a good roll. Now it's worse. But. 17. 20 for persuasion. My <laughs> dear sirs. <laughs> We have no quarrel with you. We are merely going to a place we've already been. We are just going to pass you by, and we are going to our, our location. Okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, have you guys been on the surface yet? Okay. <laughs> the door. Goodbye. Thank you. I don't have insight. Does anybody else have insight? Yeah, I have yep. insight. Mm. Uh, Plus three. Three. I don't know, but I think I, think I have two things. You guys are yelling really far. Plus two, yeah. yeah I know, right? I'll yeah. <laughs> Guidance. I'm helping. Kay. Plus two. Should I not saying okay because I couldn't understand you? <laughs> well, you tell us to go around. Uh, Sixteen. <laughs> um... You can see that these guys are just completely covered in guano. Oh. Like, before you got here, they were just processing some guano yeah. into gunpowder. Yeah. They, they, they took our load out. Or, our payload. That's it. You don't think there's enough that shit to move? Mm, I'm not sure. If they're um, all covered in I it, think probably everybody not. probably comes here for that. This might just be a popular place to do it, you know what I mean? I still say we should go down and check just to be on the safe side. 
well, let's pull up to, to him and you're like, okay, you go to that cave, we'll go to the opposite side of the planet where the caves you didn't hit. They did say go around. It's true, they did. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't actually want to go around. I want to get close and so we have like a real conversation, not this yelling thing that we're doing <laughs> from thousands of miles, uh, feet away. So I jump on their ship. Break it. Take their gun. Take their cannon. Want do you see the cannon over there? You do? I want it. I want that cannon for your ship. So I can shoot it. Yeah, why are hippos so obsessed with guns? <laughs> <laughs> this has something to do with their god. <laughs> In the book, it does. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> I think you should have been a barbarian ranger, honestly. Uh, but I thought about it, but the smite, the smite is just so good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're hey, they? making our way. Towards uh, you're driving the ship downtown. Walking fast. <laughs> Just a brisk walk. Spacewalk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you approach, you get to about 1800 feet, and they shoot at you with their big cane. Okay, that's it. Kill them. <laughs> and they yell, "Go away!" <laughs> All right, back up. But twenty. 200. <laughs> I got this one. Get ready to reload. Sorry, sorry, sorry! Okay, roll. roll. Just, just you roll for initiative if you're just gonna shoot him with your hand. Uh, my initiative modifier? Uh, 15 total. Oh, they go first. Huh? They shoot at you again. Uh, we backed away. Okay. <laughs> they apparently have gunslingers too as well. Oh, here. look, you're already up there on 15. <laughs> um, they miss again, though. No. Okay. Okay. Can I shoot? Mm hmm. What's the dwarves in the Um, 21. 19 to hit? You're plus 6, right? Yeah, when are you shooting at? Their cannon. Okay. How much damage did you do? I don't know. What's the damage? I forget. <laughs> oh, on a cannon? Three seconds. It's like 10? Give me a moment. Is it tens or eights? It is ace d10. Ace d10? Mm-hmm. Eight more ten. Uh, just right here. Oh, there it is. Eight d10? Okay. We got uh, six, fifteen, twenty-five for the first half, and um, thirty-five, forty-six, and fifty-three. All right. You see the the you hit the cannon. And you see a uh, fire start, and then the ship explodes. That's unfortunate. It's filled with gunpowder. And bash it. And the pieces all just start floating down towards the surface. I do believe our candy went down there, sir. That's unfortunate. And just to double check if any survivors. <laughs> I mean, the bugs I'm about to say, I'm about to say, how many, uh, how many dwarven sickles are there? <laughs> Just since I'm over here now. <laughs> Great, so now we'll go down, make sure all the dwarves are dead, and load up our own bat shit. Yeah. We'll try and find that cannon if we can. And see if it's salv salvageable. Can you fix the cannon? Can we find it? Yeah, I man. Autobots, oh. auto gnomes. I'm gonna do it on purpose now. Oh, we got one. Let's go. Auto Gabo. Auto Pot. Got it. All right, uh, when you get down to about 200 feet, um, you can see where there are several smoldering pieces of ship that have cleared out some area. But, um, not, not any large pieces. <laughs> so you're saying we don't see the cannon? Uh, yeah. No, you can totally see the cannon. And there's a bunch of smoke and fire. 
Yeah. So the, there's less bugs? So there's no bugs. There's no there. bugs around the cannon yeah, itself. Cool. Great. Mm. Hop on a dinghy. Yeah, it, it, it's completely destroyed. Uh, so Wait. casting mend wouldn't fix it. <laughs> you know. Just make oh, sure. Oh, it's completely destroyed. It has obliterated yeah. it. So it. Well, it, it got blown up, and then it fell 200, you know, fell a couple miles, and then smashed into the planet. It's We're talking sense, okay? <laughs> it's fantasy. <laughs> it's broken. Where's the parachute? But you can see the, uh, the, the wooden carriage that was holding the gun up is on fire, so it's creating a little smoke. That's keeping the bugs away from it. How many dwarf bodies do we see? It's broken. Um, no, 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 no bodies. bodies. Mm-hmm. No bodies at all. No. Uh, they maybe. burned up in the atmosphere. Yeah. Didn't have a shoe protecting them. They died on a different. They were, they came from a different planet. That's also no possibility. They were they were summoned. We don't know that. Okay. <laughs> but now we do. We do. They just burned up. <laughs> No hammer or axe or. or no. If there is, it's slag because it burned up through the atmosphere. Yeah. All right, cool. So, we gonna go load up again. Oh uh, yeah. Each day we'll have. I mean, there's nothing in this shipwreck. There's no useful chunks now. I mean, at all, anything. No, there's a couple of big pieces of hull that are still smoldering. That's why you can see them through the bugs. But they're just... No family portrait of, <laughs> uh, of a no. bearded lady dwarf. Family portraits all gone. Bearded, bearded lady <laughs> dwarf and a baby wait, wait bearded too, dwarf or not, nothing. Wait, way too small to survive. I, I know. It's like, you know, the, he's on top of a helmet inside <laughs> of a whatever. I don't know. Just checking. <laughs> Cool. We'll go down to bat ship and l- load up bat ship. We load up the bat ship and then we leave again. Yay. I mean, right, if if we have a clear bed. path down, why doesn't we just bring the loader with us? We don't have a clear path to the cave. We have a clear path to the wreckage. Okay, we didn't die going through the bugs, right? No, we didn't. So I don't know why we can't bring them with us. Hell that. With all your torches? Yeah, we have torches. We just all hold torches. Stuff. Maybe we can make some more smoke? Yeah. Maybe we can make some more smoke. Maybe, maybe you could get a small mattress and set it on fire? <laughs> you know. We don't need. He's an yeah. unloader. He stays on the main <laughs> ship. We go down with the load of the dinghies and send it back up. Mm-hmm. And again, we do that and then he as much as we can. How do you get down through the atmosphere? Well, we take we take our main ship like we did before. We take the ship down. At 120 feet, that's when we... Well, actually, 115 feet. That's when we get on the dinghies. 15, yeah. Yeah. That's when we get on the dinghies, and we take those down the rest of the way towards Cave like we did before. We have torches <laughs> all around the dinghy. Okay. Both, both dinghies. Can't get bitten by bugs again. It, it's unavoidable. <laughs> it right, yeah. really is. <laughs> Can I make a nature check to try and figure out, like, oh, I mean, yeah, I could do. Shit, uh, yeah, I could yeah, do the, you, the bugs were very easy to get rid of with the smoke, but you're just using 10 torches, it wasn't getting rid of all the bugs. So yeah, okay, can we follow the smoke up with whatever we just, just fell well, down off the No, none there. of them fell near the cave, so. Mm-hmm. Well, how about I use a survival check? Would that give me a better idea? I just, you you're just going to make more smoke. Okay. I mean, you are near. I make yeah. more smoke. How are you going to make more smoke? Uh, by we have to doing it. it. We have a torch and we have to like, hey, Loda, what kind of clothes you got? <laughs> but they're short. Yeah, Loda. Get off your charts! It's a, some suspenders. Um, I already burned up all my clothes. I did get a new bedroll, so I guess I can light that on fire. Did you get a new bedroll? I, I, I just told you I walked off and got to remember. I don't know how many times that is. I'm, just, yeah, I'm sorry. Know. That's all right. But you so, got a new bedroll. I got a new bedroll. That'll help. Damn, that sucker. Got my torches. Hey, torches have more than one idiots. use, right? I'm just, I know you know this. Torches have more than one use, okay? No. How, how can we make more smoke right now or any other buses? Really? Yeah. I don't know. Probably by burning something extra smoky. Greenwood. Uh, 
Forest fire. Forest fire. Guys, forest fire. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> Create a forest fire down there. Create a forest fire. Do you see a forest down there? Do you see anything we can light down there? That's nice and, nice and moist that is, uh, will be nice and smoky. Yeah, you can see um, near some of the wreckage, you can see some gnarly trees. Cool, let's the wreckage is not near the up. cave, though. No. So we go near the cave and do smoke the wreckage. What? Smoke the moist uh, trees and shit. So after you go through the bugs, then you start a fire. No, shoot it from here. <laughs> shoot it from here. We're How still, we're still gonna have to go through the bugs to get down there. I have bedroll and I have traveler's clothes. <laughs> I'm setting them all on fire. If you can set them on fire, do we have a pyre where we can put? Uh, because I don't have any more um, torches. Oil and some leather in that would help generate more. Sure. Smoke. Oh wait, so okay, so we used five of my torches. Well, <laughs> okay. I got more torches while we were on the planet. Okay, cool. I took when she was getting a bedroll. I took some green wood off. <laughs> <laughs> Check this okay, and you, you're you're saying use the the shorts? Yeah. The oily shorts? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Build a little stand for the oily shorts? Huh. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, so you don't need my clothes? No. Yeah. We got those stupid shorts from those guys, don't we? Yeah, super shorts from the guys. And some oil. Yep. So you just take them and... And you do them both things? Tie them on. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so your oily shorts produce enough smoke. Uh, you can make it down. Okay. To the, to the cave. Great. All right. Okay. At, at the cave, you see, you see hundreds and thousands of dead bats. <gasps> Those chicken-sized ones? You said hundreds of thousands? Hundreds and thousands. Okay. There's just piles of bats. And they're dead? Chicken wings. <laughs> Start I pick one up. Does it look like an axe cut? <laughs> yes, it does. And it also looks like uh, most of the meat's been carved off the bones. It's just bones and feathers. Mm. Bones and feathers. How much, uh... Bats don't have... Bat that's not happening. <laughs> Sorry, bones and fur. <laughs> I was thinking chickens. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Please, chicken model. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Poo is there? Uh, there's no poo left. The dwarves have scraped it all out. There's smoke still coming from the back of the cave, though, but uh, in this entrance part, there's no. Okay. We go further into the cave. Yeah, uh, so you go further in. Oh, uh, dancing lights for him. Okay, Do it. dancing lights. And you, you come to a cliff, and at the bottom of the cliff, there's just a big fire, burning guano. Is that the first guano we see? Yeah, and it's on fire. Hmm. About 50 feet down. Making big flames. That is bright. I can use my tools to find out if there's another cave close by. Is there another cave close by? Hey, how are you going to find another cave? Because uh, I have uh, so Do you have nature as one of your skills? Mm, no. You? Nope. I got history. What I know. Not quite going to help us in this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, would a survival check help me to determine if there's more bat like caves around here? What about animal handling? <laughs> what about animals? They're dead now. <laughs> They're not animals. <laughs> uh, you want to look for another guano cave? Yeah. Okay. Because um, that's actually another question I have is we saw bats, yes. Do we see any more goblins? No, there were no more goblins. Okay. And all the bats are dead. And all the guano's on fire. Making right. a huge conflagration at the bottom of this 50 foot pit. Alright. But again, we're going to be able to use survival to see if we can discover another uh, bat cave here. Yes, but 
I mean, that's going to require searching. So you're going to be searching through the bugs? Mm. Mm. Can you do an um, aerial survey with, between cartographer's tools, navigator's tools, and uh, survival? To well, I mean, okay, here's, here's a better question. When we were uh, airborne, uh -huh. did we see the smoke coming out of the cave? I know it just spends my time in cats up uh, because the smoke tends to collect in the cave, right? And so hey. bugs were flying right outside the cave. You weren't safe from the bugs until you got inside. Okay. Was there a, so this cave, is it in a mountain, a hill? No, nah, side of a hill. Okay, we've been able to see the hill from uh, the air. No, it was covered with bugs. Fuck. Cloud of bugs. Mm. And the cave's wet. Because it's all swampy. Mm -hmm. But there's a piece of rock there. Trace the hill. Trace the caves. You guys got any cold magic? Yeah. The only cold magic around. I have is... Glass. And I can transmute my spell. Oh! Stand corrected. I don't have any cold magic. She can transmute. I can transmute when I have Ray of Frost. Can you call out this burning shit? Oh, yeah. Like a level two. <laughs> I mean, as a thought, it probably could work. Magic missile or something that no. transmutes into snowball or something <laughs> like that. No, it's rare wave. frost or <coughs> like. Oh, okay. Do you have actually? Do you have scorching ray? No, Damn. I have shot. I have rare frost. I have thunder wave. Second level spell. Well, scorching ray is a is a second level spell. Scorching, yeah, I don't have. No. Mm. Scorching ray is a second level spell. I have misty step and air bubble. Air bubble is more important. Yeah, just Ray of Frost. We've already used it. So yeah, Ray of Frost is your only option. What does the Thunder Wave do? Make sound. Sonic yeah. boom. Does he startle you? Can I change it into a yeah. Sonic Snowball? Technically, yes. I don't think so. Yeah. Because Can I transmit it into Force? Force it doesn't work on Sonic, does it? Oh, uh, is it Sonic oh, or is it Force? Mm, yeah, I think it's Sonic. Thunder. It's like a Thunder thing. Which would be Sonic. Mm. There's no Sonic in this edition. It's or thunder. Like, it can't it's be psychic. Like, mm. Oh, I like to transmutation spells. That's alright. Uh, force sweeps across you. Yeah. Does it say force? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I'll do anything that. What type of transmute? Thing? Right. That's transmute. Crystal. Yeah, it's in Tasha's. Oh, it's from my feet. Yeah. yeah, and tell us what can you turn it from and turn it into. <coughs> oh, I got you. What page is it? Sorcerer stuff. Sorcerer stuff, yeah, that's good. I feel like this is taking a little bit Yeah, it kind of is. is. <coughs> yeah. Coming up with a good search plan, though. I don't see where we're going. Mm. I don't have change me on this. Looks like my mouth logged in. Here we go. I got it, guys. So a trans casts a spell and deals a type of damage from the following list. You can spend one sorcery point to change it damage to one of the following. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Assassin, Assassin like. cold, fire, lightning, poison, mm -hmm. thunder. And thunder. Hey, thunder's there. So you change thunder into cold if you like. If it's thunder. If it's force, it's not going to work. Yeah. Force and thunder are different. Yeah. <coughs> Which I think she did already say it is force, so no. A wave of thunder's force sweeps from yeah, out from so you. What kind of damage thunder does it do? Thunder is force. What kind, of oh, okay. what kind of damage? Thunder is force. Oh, okay. What kind of damage? 
How many d10s? Thunder damage. Thunder damage. Yeah. Yeah. Thunder, yes. thunder damage. Thunder damage. Ten feet away from you. Great. Two d8. You should be okay. Cool. You can transmute. Yeah. Just ray of frost at first. That's a two d8. Yeah. Okay. It's two d8. Still the same. Ray of frost and. Yeah. yeah save, save your save your sorcery points. Just just ray of frost. Okay. Oh. Ray of frost. Yeah, it does well, the same. Thunder wave does a bigger area, though. Oh, actually, no, like to point. Well, let's see how it works on a five foot. All right. Fine. So you want to find a big piece of wreckage and try to put the fire out? No, we're doing No, I'm doing wreckage. Frost. No, no. Oh, in the bat shape. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, doing it's a frost. huge, giant fire. So there's no way for us to extinguish it, is what you're well, saying? Well, I'm not with a 15 foot cube and a 50 foot pile of guano that's on fire. Yeah. You're gonna put out a small area, and then the area next to it is just gonna catch on fire again. We have shovels on the ship. I bought a shovel. It's Sixty-six. Okay. If you really want to invest time in this, shovel out a bit, ray of frost, harvest. Shovel out a bit, ray of frost, harvest. Um, how are you gonna get that close to the flaming guano? That's that was gonna be my next question. <laughs> How is it too hot where we can not get close to it at all? Yeah, it's a fifty foot bonfire. Okay, it's a fifty foot bonfire. Yep. Okay. We wouldn't know there's another skin. cave like this. It, it, mm. we're, this is it. This is it. Yep. Okay. Uh, is that Alex? No. no. Oh, okay. No. Oh, hi. Where's the what? Um, so I can't use survival to figure this out. Not in that nature. Without flying through a cloud of bugs. Yeah. For hours, maybe. Hey, what else are we going to do? We, so, we're going to run out of shorts. Six, six, six. Yeah, so. Hmm? We're going to take damage every six seconds? Yeah. Once your shorts run out. Once, yeah. Because shorts are the only thing that's keeping the bugs away from us right now. Oh, now? I mean, we're in the cave. Oh, well, right. Yeah, now you're in the cave, you're good. Yeah. yeah. But you what can are light the shorts? your shorts up again. What do the shorts look like? <laughs> like they look like shorts. <laughs> no, they're I mean, you're fire. trying to, like, you know. They're on fire. So your shirt, sure, yeah. And you're, you know you could bring your shorts for like five minutes, but okay, okay. searching around the area for, you would only have five minutes to search before your shorts ran out. But we're in the cave. We don't need the shorts. Yeah, right? you don't need shorts now. But you're right. talking about going outside, finding another cave. You need something else. I see, I see. Hmm. We're figuring out how to get the flaming guano up to where you are so you can put it out. I don't have mage hand. <laughs> Yeah. Ten, Ten pounds at a time. Ten pounds at a time. <laughs> I would do it, but I don't have mage hand. <laughs> do you, do have, you have Do you have mage hand? No. I can't believe you have something. That's all right. <laughs> Alex. I didn't know that he would. Yeah. Alex would dancing lights, and I didn't know that I would need mage hand. I took message and dancing lights. I love message. Message cracks me up, especially if you use subtle spell. And then they're like, ooh, where'd it come from? Talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> knowing where it's coming from. All right. Any ideas? I'm honestly, I'm. Well, I'm. Well, take a week and think about it. Mm-hmm. Clearly, we're going to have to because I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, guys, we're standing in the cave going, we need more smoke to search for another cave or some way to get this flaming going on up here uh, so we can put it out. This is futuristic, right? Sure. Not really, but uh, <laughs> oh. what, what, are, what are you getting at? Let's start there. there. I mean, I know. I was coming thinking, is there some way to get some sort of a drone-like thing that will that we can get down there? Actually, wait a minute. Is it too hot for the other goblins? Yeah, other okay. goblins take the normal fire damage. Okay. Which means I can take normal. Yes. Feather fall. Yeah, you can feather fall right down there and burn up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Anything anyone wants to say? 
Let's guide him all. We can't figure out your puzzle. <laughs> you Maybe it's not really a puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Puzzles are fun. This is 